everyone. I'm gonna have to lower that on my end too. It's too loud. There we go. I think that should be okay for everyone. How's everyone doing? Woohoo! Hello! Free June ASMR, pretty much. Today I'm kind of, I'm kind of tired. <laughs> Hopefully everyone else's Tuesday has been going better. Um, it's not that I'm, it was a bad Tuesday. It was just that like, I didn't get a lot of sleep. KB and I both didn't get a lot of sleep. Um, better but still sleepy. Yeah, I'm, I'm, at least got some stuff done. Yeah. Standing in shadow. I'm gonna do my um, my hellos, okay? All right. It says Bree was first. He he wins the first prize at 7:06 with a soon. <laughs> so hello Bree, hello Shammy, of course. Acer. Acer, I miss you. I don't know where you've gone, but I miss you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you for the hydrate and the posture check. I can just do the posture check right now because um, my water is boiling for my tea. So we'll, we'll have to get to that soon. Um, um, yes, yeah, so hi to Frito, hi to Shadow, and yeah, that's about it. So thank you for my early birds. Welcome, welcome. Um, so yeah, um, in the air, Frito. <laughs> uh, but yeah, today has been a lot, but it's okay. I'm here now, and I figured like something chill today would be nice, you know. Um, you made it through, yeah. So you wouldn't believe why I'm late. Um, well, let's start with today. Today I had, um, yo. <laughs> oh my god, I'm a whole 10 minutes late to the already late stream. You be quiet, Nezu. Can I have a shout out to Nezu, our Sekiro expert? <laughs> um, plumping issues with the high crap. Also, can I have a shout out to Shadow, who's the who who who's um, a streamer who is currently you know active and live and playing video games, unlike Nezu, unlike Nezu. Plumbing issue? I was like plumping. <laughs> Tree, thank you for the three stream streak. Okay, whoa, let's go. Nice, cramp, cramp. Wait, crep? Five stream streak? What? Which one did you miss? Thanks for the shout out, of course. Um, but yeah, so at work, I actually wanted to, I actually wanted to go take a nap at work. But I never got the chance to because I was so busy at work and I had so much to do, you know? Um, so not, apparently not everyone gets stream streaks on their channel. I didn't know that until recently. Really? I had no idea. I had no idea. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so today I was at work and I worked a lot. I stayed a little bit later than I should have actually. And I left and my, you know, Kiwi Mama, she called me or she, she texted me um, and she said, hey, I made you dinner. Do you want to stop by and um, uh, grab this lunchbox that I gave you and, or I made you? And I already was really tired, but I was like, oh, I really don't want to make any food today. So 
I'll take the chance and then I'll say hello too. So I did. I went over to um, Mama QB and Papa QB's uh, before I went home. And I didn't think that I was going to stay too long. But then, um, so I don't know if you know, but my sister, she recently had kids. Um, she had little baby bees of her own. And, um, and I haven't been visiting them very often, right? Um, I haven't visited them very mu much because really the only time that they're like available is on the weekend. Um, and I don't know if you noticed, but uh, that's kind of when <laughs> I tend to stream and hang out with you guys, right? So I'm basically like taking care of uh, streams and stuff at that time. And, um, and so she was like, hey, you need to come over and take care, you know, take care of your niece and nephew. They barely see you ever. Like you should go and meet them. They probably, you get along with them really well if you if you like hung out and I said I basically said like Mama QB um my weekends are usually just booked and she's like well what are you doing what are you doing that's so important and like I kind of like <sighs> I tried to skirt around it where I was like oh like I'm making like videos I'm like I'm making videos right like online and stuff and she's like well can you show me can you show me these videos I'm like mm. I, well, oh wow you told her that much I I've told her that I've made video like I'm doing videos is what I've told her before I was like oh I've done videos because I don't know how to describe or like explain streaming to a boomer <laughs> you know I don't know how to describe it in a way where like they'll understand because they know what YouTube is in a way they, they know what YouTube is right um but they don't know what live streaming would be if that makes sense so I make it <laughs> if they're able to know what OnlyFans is Honestly, that's pretty impressive and very advanced for a boomer. I am <laughs> But um give me a second to read what Acer said, okay? My day was also very long. Work from 6 a.m. to 4 30 p.m. Oh, Monday through Friday. So yeah, moving into a three three bedroom was a put off until the first. Yeah, I understand. I know that you're in the process of moving and working and there's a lot going on, a lot of moving pieces for you right now, Acer. Uh, I just hope you are well every time. And um, I still want to play Baldur's Gate with you. <laughs> I still plan on doing that eventually. So yeah, I I really I really hope you're doing doing well. Okay, um, and uh, I'll be here whenever you're available and you get. You know, life life needs to be in order sometimes, and sometimes you gotta prioritize. So I understand. <laughs> um, I hope you're well though. Um, Womp, welcome, welcome. Gotta help Shrek liberate his true. Shrek needs to swamp, you know. <laughs> and hi, Womp. I I actually saw Womp and Ducky in. Trill's stream today. I talked to Trill a lot today, actually, while I while I was working. I was listening in, and I probably typed more than I should have, but I did. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I Trill is fun. Yeah, Trill is very fun, and uh, I hope one day I can play some games with Trill if she's up for it. You know, because I am just. I am just full of collaborations all the time. <laughs> At all times. <laughs> um, but yeah, so she made my hoppies. Yes, she did. I remember. But, um, I, so I told her I was making videos. And she's like, well, can you show me? And I said, uh, 
they're not really what you expect them to be. And she's like, well, can you explain to me? So I'm like, okay, well, this is when I was like, okay. And I was just so tired. I don't know what went out, came over me, but I was like, I'm just going to tell her. I'm going to tell her because I'm going to let her know that I'm not trying to like betray my family or like snub them off. I am doing something important, right? So I told her, so you know, do you know streaming? Do you know what streaming is? And she said, um, like streaming movies? And I'm like, not quite, but I'm glad you know that word, right? I said, well, streaming is when you're kind of making a YouTube. And I said, you know what? It's like FaceTiming. I'm not, it's like FaceTiming where you're live and you're constantly FaceTiming with someone. And, but then that is like open to anybody who knows, um, uh, anybody who knows, uh, your link and stuff like that, like where it is, like, it's like a YouTube channel, like same thing. If you go to, I told her about Twitch and I said, if you go to Twitch, they're live. It's like, as if they're FaceTiming live and you get to talk to them and you get to see what they're doing. Like they could be playing a game. Like I play games. They could be cooking, they could be knitting, they could be doing crafts and stuff, or they could be talking like I am now. <laughs> and she's like, oh yeah, yeah. It's when you're like live video, right? And I'm like, yes, 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 live video. And uh, then came an entire like, basically hour of me telling her what I do and like streaming and everything i hope you told her it makes money yeah i told her that i've taken sponsorships and stuff and i've told her the uh i've told her like what sponsorships do and how they work and and stuff like that and um she her reaction wasn't what i thought it would be because the thing that i thought she would think was like this is a waste of time but actually she was elated she was like really excited for me and she literally said as long as you're doing something that you are really enjoying then I'm glad that you're not like just doing something that's just like bad or anything and then she also was kind of mad at me <laughs> because she was like wait, you were taking these sponsorships and all you had to say was like, can you do this for me? And like, we would have given you money. Like we would have been able to support you in sponsorships and you like missed out on this. And I was like, well, I didn't want to have that conversation yet. <laughs> like I, I, I didn't want to have that conversation yet. And so like, I didn't know how to have that conversation with you. So I didn't know what to do. And she's like, well, like next time you take a sponsorship or anything like that, you need to tell us because then we want to be able to sponsor you or, or support you in the thing that you're doing. Uh, did you actually show her a VOD? I showed her, <laughs> I showed her my channel, which included my puzzles and survival VOD too. So I was showing her like, legit stuff that I was doing. I showed her my model, I showed her some of my art, and I showed her some of you guys too. We chat and stuff, and I'm like, yeah, this is my community and stuff. Well, that's actually cool that you can share with her. Yeah, I mean, the thing is, is that like, eventually I have to, right? Eventually I feel like I need to because how far am I going to like just skirt around the idea and not tell them like what I'm doing like I can but it makes it really hard it makes it harder down the line telling them what I'm doing but if I tell them hey I need to stream or I need to do vid like my video thing in about half an hour I gotta go then they're like okay oh we understand because like not only that is that like money sure but it's also like a job where you you're like upkeeping something right 
and it's not like you're wasting your time like you're you're like fucking off doing something else you know it's not as if you're like oh i need to go and i don't know do something stupid right you're like cultivating a community and you're you're um you're you're kind of making like side money for yourself too that's also nice heart heart feels full listening to this yeah thank you um there is one thing that i did tell her though i said you absolutely cannot tell anybody like i'm telling you this because you are my mother <laughs> but i need you to not tell any not a single person i like if i plan on telling somebody it's because it's because i i have chosen to do that right and at first she's like, well, why? I want them to know, like, the work that you're doing. You're doing, you, you got so far. Like, look at you. You have all the stuff that you're doing. You've got sponsorships. You've got a model. You've got a community. Like, I want to share that with the entire world. And I'm like, I, like, I understand that. But this is, like, a safety thing, right? This is for you. This is safety for me. This is safety for you. This is something very serious. And I, I really, really, I'm telling you right now, if there's anything I'm telling, I need you to not say a damn thing. <laughs> Are you winning, broadcaster? I am. Welcome, welcome, Crow. Can I have a shout out to Crow, please? Please, please, please. Crow is amazing. He's such a, such an energetic, funny streamer. I, I stopped by his dream a few times actually and oh, such um he is such a light. He is such a light. Did you mind game? Yeah, yeah yeah. I remember when I was when I stopped by he was playing Silent Hell. Um and it was a it was a fun time. <laughs> there were a lot of mannequins and stuff. Oh my god, TY TY. No. Uh, I'm not making it up. It's all you, okay? It's all you, bro. <laughs> but yes, he's a he's a wonderful streamer. Please follow him if you have not yet. And he's very handsome. On top of that, can you believe it? They're, you know they say, you know, one person shouldn't have so much power, but unfortunately, it, it's in Crow's fucking hands. So, congrats. <laughs> um let me let me see what I wanna see what Acer said earlier. I'm sorry. Um legit everything is moving part right now. I wish something would just stop. Oh yeah, I hear you, Acer. I know. I, it's hard. Dude, you're scaring him. Have you tried RimWorld yet? Did I miss it? I you didn't. You didn't. I want to try it uh, after I finish be Beyond the Night. <laughs> beyond before the night. Behind the night. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> best. I guess night. <laughs> I have to turn on my little heater. Oh, it's getting cold. It was actually really warm today. I don't know if it was warm for you guys, but damn, it was like 70 degrees Fahrenheit today. My God. Oh my God. It was so warm. Behind and beyond night. <laughs> it was mild here too. Yeah. Yeah. It was so mild. I don't... I, I actually wore my winter coat um, and I had to like take that off because it was so warm it was so warm i cannot handle it <laughs> um but yeah i do want to try room world after uh, it is more a single player i want to do a series eventually but i definitely want to try room world even if it's off stream i want to try room world if you guys want to give me like tips and stuff while i play please do because i don't know how to play it not at all. Zero experience. <laughs> and um, Acer is so lovely to have given me 
the entirety of RimWorld plus like DLC and stuff. So it's a great game. Okay, I I hundred percent believe Lump. It has to be an amazing game. Me neither, but you got it. I believe. <laughs> Thank you. Usually, I'm able to pick up strategy games pretty pretty well, but who knows? I, th this could be the strategy game of my demise. <laughs> But I'll have you guides there to help me, so I'll be okay, I think. <laughs> um, yum, yum, yum. Yes, yes. Can I have a shout out to Petra while I have hiccups? <laughs> I don't have a cup to drink from the top of. Oh no. It's kind of simulation survival. Okay, okay. Dungeons and Dragons, wow. No, I saw Petra playing Dungeons and Dragons earlier. Was it yesterday that you did your stream, Petra? Or was it today? I don't remember. I'm pretty sure it was yesterday, right? It was yesterday that you did your Dungeons and Dragons stream? Um, Petra is a wonderful, she is a wonderful DM for, for Dungeons and Dragons. And I saw, I saw her streaming yesterday I think the D&D &D. and um I think they're pretty far in um Kami is still in there I think oh she's she's great you know today I was on, twi on Twitter and it was funny because like <laughs> Jinx had posted a uh post where he was like oh how do you know me and I immediately just pointed at Candy and was like her <laughs> it was so good it was so good um but yeah I'm sorry for your for talking your ear off it's about 30 minutes now in the stream and um we're supposed to be playing a little or playing a little yeah, we're not playing we are we're doing some Japanese work today. Um, you advertised soft yapping and delivered. <laughs> I did. Hopefully it was it was comforting and, and stuff. I'm definitely tired, <laughs> but um, very relaxing talk though. That's good. Yeah. Hopefully you guys feel better just like listening and. Hopefully if you had a rough day or anything, you can relax and calm down and feel better about it, you know? And I certainly do. I feel better talking to you guys all the time. Even though today was kind of a stressful, really tiring, um, surprising day, um, yeah, I feel better talking to you guys. <laughs> oh, um, also Mama Kiwi. Okay, so you know how when you get gyoza and like pasta stickers and stuff? They're not very big, right? Really is chill and soothing. I'm glad. I'm so glad, Crow. I'm so glad. <laughs> um, so you know when you get pasta stickers, they're like kind of small. I don't know, like they're an inch high, I guess. <laughs> they're kind of small, right? And you pan fry them and they... You know, you bite into them and there's not a lot of juice and stuff in there. Um, so, they're one mouthful. Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. Per gyoza? Yeah, exactly. Um, when I was a kid, there used to be pot stickers that used to be huge. Like, I want to say like two, <laughs> maybe like two inches high. <laughs> they're pretty high. They're really big. And, um kind of wide too so they're pretty pretty large and um i've never had them since like since i was a kid since i was maybe in like in high school and i used to think that's the way that pasticures always were and i went around and i went to restaurants and stuff and they're really small <laughs> like i would say like one gyoza or one pot sticker equals one of these pot stickers right the ones from my childhood and I just thought okay I, I almost came almost like like
I copiumed, I guess. <laughs> I like just accepted the fact, accepted the reality that gyozas are supposed to be this size, right? Oh, thank you for the seven months, Dornelas. Over half a year already. How is this possible? I just got here the other day. I know. Honestly, I didn't do anything for my half year. That's okay. Oh, I'll do something for my year long. And I want to reach out to you guys to see what you guys want to want to want to see for that. If you want to see like collabs or if you want to see just solo stuff, because I do a lot of collabs as it is. But like, if you want to see something special, then let me know. You know, when you will be here before you know it. Yeah, I know. Like seven seven months is here before I know it. <laughs> I did not think that I was over a year, like half. Shadow. <laughs> Shadow, what the hell? <laughs> you know what's worse is like you're you have the founder badge too, that, so that's even worse. <laughs> but again, thank you. Thank you so much for um, supporting me, Dornellas. You're one of my first um, supporters um, coming from Cami along with Jinx as well. And I cannot tell you how um, appreciative of you I am <laughs> of how much you support me and you talk so much in my discord as well and I appreciate that too like talking and, and chatting about question of the day and stuff like that it's really interesting and and really nice being able to see your point of view from where you live because even though we live on the same like at least on the same side of the hemisphere um, our lives are so different, so it's so nice to see um, the, the differences in culture and the way that we look at things. It's so nice. Another big collab would be fun, like Halloween Project Zomboid. Yeah, I love when you share pictures. Yes, yes, yes. Project Zomboid was fun. Yeah, I was planning on after Valo Project Zomboid to be the next um, to be the next community night though. However, I can do a collab because if I if I'm able to get people um, fast enough, maybe I can I can get them to do collabs. <laughs> I feel like a lot of them do a lot of their own stuff, though. You know, I do want to reach out though. I did reach out to a lot of people in October. Holy shit! <laughs> I went I went crazy wild. I was like. I got over any anxiety that I may have had. Not that I have a lot of anxiety when it comes to like talking to people, um, unless I need to give them the, you know, the mother talking, you know, the mother scolding. <laughs> um, then I'm not really that anxious to just to ask somebody a question and be like, hey, do you want to be part of, you want to do this together, you know? I'm not really like... Because I feel like even if you say no, there's always next time, and it, even if and, and if you say yes, then we make memories, and I think that's wonderful. That's a beautiful thing. When you're special, I bet people will make time for you. See, and if they don't, I don't, I don't want to keep them. Um, I don't want them to, to for me to look at them and be like, it's my one year. Why aren't you paying attention to me? <laughs> But like I know that there are well wishes from all all points and like regardless of what they're able to give me. Like for example, Acer right now. I would love to invite Acer. However, I know that he has a very, very, very um, busy schedule right now uh, with you know work and home life. So it's hard, right? So if <laughs> Acer says I can't do this, I'm not gonna be like Acer doesn't love me. Oh my gosh, <laughs> no. No, no, no. You're good. You're good. I will. I do want to do Project Soundboy again eventually. Just because it's so fun, you know. It was a, fu a really fun um, collab. Uh, I don't know if you guys want to still do the anime aspect of it. Um, I think a lot of people were interested in that because I know Burner wanted to play the game just because of that. He wanted Dio, I think. Um, am I gonna give him Dio? Maybe. <laughs> If it, if it means that he gets to play or whatever, then sure. Um, 
Yeah, other big collabs would be fun. Yeah, I know there was a other collabs like Left 4 Dead 2. That was fun too. That was definitely fun. Um, but yeah, I think um, it'll be it'll be a fun time when I get to to a year. Collabs would be nice. Uh, I was thinking maybe a cooking stream. Do you want, want me to make my own one year anniversary cake on stream? That'd be fun, huh? I was thinking about that. Cooking? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cooking. Some baking? What do you think? Some baking? I I did. I Like, opening up and cracking open those Final Fantasy books made me realize, hey, I need to do this. <laughs> like, Nezu bought me all the Ghibli books, and I have not touched them, and I need to do that. Um, Japanese cheesecake with matcha dust? Yeah, that sounds good too. Those cookie lo cookies looked amazing. They looked very good, and they also looked kind of simple too. And not in a bad way, but in a good way, you know? Because I don't want something... Hold on, let me, let me go and look again. I want to look at the, um, the recipe itself. Because I did take, a, take the picture. The, the, um... Book goes over at KB's. So um, I can't really like, go go and check it out. Girl, beet sugar. Okay, come on. <laughs> um, otherwise, everything I pretty much already have. Like I already have espresso powder. I have hot water. How many do these yield? Twenty-four cookies. That's actually pretty good. Two cups of all-purpose flour. A fourth cup of whole wheat flour. Salt, baking soda, or baking powder. Sorry. Salt's butter, room temperature, um, or unsalted. Uh, beet sugar, I'm just gonna supplement that with, um, or uh, substitute that I mean, with um, just normal sugar. <laughs> Unless there's a particular reason to use beet sugar. Um, firmly packed um, brown sugar, two eggs. Yeah, girl beet sugar. <laughs> yeah. I, I think um, the cookies would be nice. Maybe I'll try out the cookies one day. You guys feel? Those look really simple. Do you guys want to cook them with me? Or bake them with me? They look pretty easy. Yeah, they look easy and they look very good too. I actually already have dark chocolate chips as well. I have Ghirardelli dark chocolate chips that I, I have yet to use. Sometimes I eat one or two. <laughs> yeah, that would be so fun. It would be pretty fun, huh? And it'd be fun to eat, too. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Yeah, I, I picked the pina colada today because I was talking about pineapples. <laughs> not gonna lie, I'm not sure what I could find. If I could find beet sugar, I'm just gonna supplement it with normal granulated sugar. Unless there's a particular sugar that they prefer me to use. I know that they have like a substitution section in the book. So I can just tell you what you can substitute beet sugar for. That's the case. Pina colada is your color? It is. Look at it. They look so good together. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I miss everybody. Everybody misses you. Everybody misses you a lot, Acer. I miss you. Sometimes I think about it. I'm like, I hope Acer's okay. I hope Acer's okay. I know he's going through a lot right now. And I hope he knows that uh, no matter how much time he takes, we'll be around and we'll still welcome him with open arms, you know? <laughs> we're still up for games and we're still up to, you know, play Final Fantasy together and we're still up to play games. Like, I haven't played Baldur's Gate 3 because I want to play it with you. I've told I've told other streamers like that and they're like, just go and play and I'm like, no, I can't play without Acer. I feel so bad. <laughs> I want Acer to want or play with me. Yeah. But don't worry, I'll 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 save it for you. I'll save it for you. Rimworld though, it's a single player, so I'll play it. <laughs> That's all I mean, you know? Jeez, Dream Elements. Enough with the spam. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I'm really happy that the talk with uh, Mama QB went really well. 
and she seemed really uh, like um, really supportive. I feel like Vegeta from the bridge version. I want to be happy, but circumstances keep kicking me in the dick. I know, I know, I know. It's not your fault. I know this is not something that like you were looking to, for it to happen. Like nobody, nobody wants these circumstances to happen to to themselves. Um, so I I get it, and that's why I'm just like just it, it's a matter of me being patient and like. Um, you know um, waiting for when those circumstances die down you know because there's really nothing I can do on my end except wait for you and give you like a uh, reassurance that we'll be here we'll still be here you know mm -hmm. we'll still be here you know I know I have this post saying that I'm eating but I have not eaten anything <laughs> I literally have, okay, so I have the thing that, the lunch that Mama QB made me today, and it's uh, like a filet of salmon over rice and vegetables, which is very healthy. Um, leave it to Mama QB to give me super healthy food. Um, but yeah, let's take our first bite. It's just broccoli, okay? That's so good. <laughs> I grilled cheese and soup. It was yummy. Mm. Grilled cheese sounds so good. I appreciate it. Damn, that sounds good. I had two microwave burritos and instant ramen today. Mm. Hey, calories and cal calories are calories. Regardless, I'm just glad that you're eating. Okay. Make sure you're taking take care of yourself because you're working so hard. Bumble, do you want some salmon? Bumble. Hey, baby. The boy. He was, um, he was really, um, sad today because he wanted to be held and, uh, given attention, but I was streaming, but immediately when I was, when I got in, so he was like, mother, mother, can I have some hugs? And I'm like, I'm sorry, I can't. I can't, baby. Facts. I'm definitely trading some fat for muscle because my new job involves moving steel by hand. Oh my gosh, that must be so hard. Mm. Please be careful. Please be careful. Please don't drop anything on yourself. <laughs> please, please, please. Uh, I got this new heads up um, before it and <laughs> I feel so sad that the mic sucks but it's so comfortable the headset itself is so comfortable mm. Mm. I hate this one because mm, while it has a really good mic or at least you can hear me through this mic and you guys seem to like like it <laughs> Mm. It um <laughs> It's um How do I say this? It squeaks a lot <laughs> It squeaks a lot It squeaks a lot I'm a big show for having a mic Wait, too late, I already cut myself twice And managed to hit myself in the, the, the hip With the steel beam Oh my gosh, be careful, please be careful Oh my Please, please, please be careful. I'm a big shell for having a mic and headphones separated. Got my fancy schmancy earbuds. Um, the thing is, is this this headset was when I just started um, streaming. And the thing is, is I put all the money in towards <laughs> I put all the money in towards my main rig, which is over at KB's. But this one here for my shitty PC. <laughs> I was like, well, I don't need anything crazy because, I mean, 
I'm just going to bog down my like CPU anyway. So I decided to go with something that's like, it's like a $20 Logitech. I'm not even joking. <laughs> I, <laughs> I was like, if I do something more complicated along with OBS and, or Streamlabs OBS and, and VTube Studio, my, my PC is going to kill me. It's going to hop out of its fucking... <gasps> Oh my gosh, John! Thank you for the raid! Thank you, thank you! How come the, oh, the alert didn't go off? Hello? I'll, I'll do, I'll do, I'll do, um... I will do... Blair himself. Oh, baby! <laughs> thank you for the raid! Thank you for the raid, Jan. I appreciate you. Thank you, thank you, and hello, raiders. My name is QB June. You may call me QB. You may be. You may call me June. I am a variety YouTuber, and I like to play a bunch of games and also just do a lot of different activities. So today I'm just doing a soft chat with everybody while I um, occasionally eat food that was prepared by QB Mama and um and uh today we're going to be doing some Japanese lessons with Shami later on as well she's actually a just chatting VTuber honestly yes <laughs> I I just chat a lot like before my streams I do like an hour of chatting I'm sorry. I'm sorry if my chat just happens to be so damn entertaining, okay? I don't know how you do it. You're there. What do you mean? You're there. <laughs> Imagine streaming. Oh my gosh, Kans is here. Hi, Kans. Can I have a shout out to Kans as well? Did we shout We shouted out Jan? Jan was arting. Oh my gosh. Jan, have you rolled for your, your mans yet? Hi, Jen Curry. Hello. Hello, Jen Curry. I'm always here. I'm everywhere, including work. You son of a bitch. <laughs> also, Shadow is reading from, from Jan as well. Look at Shadow. He has like fucking 10 tabs open. I swear to God. <laughs> Um, the arting is arting. It is. I've tried to no avail. No, 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 no. It's okay. It's okay. His banner is still, his banner is still there for a few days, right? And if that's the case, then, you know, I f it's still got three hours. Girl, go. What are you doing? Get out of here. <laughs> no. Thank you for the raid, though. Thank you for the raid. I can feel the 50-50 being lost. No, no, believe, believe. He loves you. He loves you. You're probably going to end stream before I end my shift, as always. Me? Mm, I still have to do JP lessons today. Don't watch my stream go pull. True. Listen, I'm here to make your um, husbando dreams come true. And I'm also here to tell you what to do instead of watching me. <laughs> You need to go and get some more jade. Go get some more jade, girl. Go get it. I need you to pull. I need you to get that Jinyuan. He's awesome. He's amazing. I have him and I haven't built him yet. I'm, I'm still in the process. Hmm. Hmm. No, I dropped a celery as opposed to salary. Can you want to shout out to salary, please? <laughs> but yeah, thank you for, for the raid, John. I hope that you get some rest, get some water, get some food, okay? And um, and thank you for trusting me with your community. They were playing Final Fantasy. Is he not streaming now? Last time I saw, he was, he was streaming not too long ago. Boom. He is addicted to 7. FF7. 
I'm gonna get some food, but I'll be back if you're streaming for a while. For sure. Thank you for st stopping by and trusting me with your community. I appreciate you. Goodbye, queen. Goodbye, art queen. Mm. Yeah, have a good meal. Enjoy your dinner. Mm. I sure am. <laughs> Thank you for the hunt for the 10 bits, Frito. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate you. Frito is the best. <clears throat> Frito, Frito is the best. She's my mommy. <laughs> Or do you prefer me to be your mommy? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what those are. I just love, love emoji. <laughs> okay, Grandma. Wow. Hans, go back to work. Jesus Christ. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> it's so funny every time. It's so cute. I need a spoon. There we go. This is the reason why I don't like jasmine rice. It always breaks apart. Mm. True Queen B, shut the fuck and get back up. <laughs> get back to work, true. True. Get back to work. Worker drone. <laughs> mm. My jasmine rice, so it always breaks apart. I like medium grain because like you can pick up a lot of it. What a dictator. <laughs> you know it. <laughs> Hi numbers. Hello numbers. How are you? Thank you, yes, Jan Raid. The medium cal rose, exactly. The medium cal rose or the sakura, medium rice, so good, so good. <laughs> Man, I made some rice with just soy. My sauce, garlic powder, and onion powder was pretty damn good. Yes, yes, yes. If you have really good um, quality rice, you don't need much to like dress it up to make it really good. We tried the sakura rice, it's so good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Right now I'm craving. <laughs> I'm sorry. Get something to eat if you haven't, guys. If you have not gotten something to eat, get, get a snack or something, okay? My headphones are so annoying. Hmm. Maybe I should get a standing mic or something, hmm? For this PC? Maybe. Maybe, maybe. All I know is the twenty dollars Logitech is not working. <laughs> I actually showed it to Womp and he was like, "I thought that your that was your chair." I'm like, "No, my chair is silent." But this sound.
That's all my headphones. Love <laughs> my headset. It's so sad. Monster Hunter may switch be like Hunt Rajang and me. Ooh, monkey. <laughs> Did you hear about the Monster Hunter um, news recently? <clears throat> the female speedrunner? I mean, it's been around for about two weeks or so, but yeah. Mm -hmm. I did not. Ooh. Okay. Let me get Shammy in here. Hold on one second. <gasps> Gian is pl is is in chat with Nazu and Crap and Nine. Oh my gosh, Gian. Ooh, that's cool. I'm so proud of you, girl. <laughs> All right. Let me let me. We're having a little oh. rabbit for dinner, guys. I am on the plate next to the uh, cake. <laughs> yeah. Do you want to be next to the cake or do you want to be next to the pina colada? Uh, the, the drink so I can have some sippies mm. now and then. Sippy sippies. Shami, <laughs> mm -mm. my favorite. I might be biased though. Wow. That's fucked up. No favorites here. <sighs> She, she, she's finally making friends. I'm so proud of her. <laughs> I'm just happy that she's in my community. I'm so proud of you, Jian. You know what I realized um, today? I was not. I'm not part of Jian's community on Discord yet, and I don't know why. I honestly thought I was. But I'm not. I think Jian took a little break, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> so it's nice to see her around and doing stuff. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Fake friend, how dare you? I'm timing you out. <laughs> Shadow's razzing you today. I don't know. For what? It's because Ducky's not around. <laughs> but somebody's gotta do somebody's it? Somebody's gotta do it. <laughs> Didn't know Discord community is a thing? Like as in just when a streamer has a Discord, like like that, that Discord community. What? Can't stop trolling. <laughs> Not me genuinely answering this question. I know, right? <laughs> mm. Okay. <clears throat> Let me go on about this Monster Hunter tea, okay? Yeah. Oh. Well, while I'm at it. I'm gonna go and grab them. <clears throat> okay, so, um, so if you know anything, there's uh, about Monster Hunter. Um, Monster Hunter World, I think, it's specifically. Um, there's this monster called Atreon? Uh, Elatreon. Um, and not just my color. <laughs> um, and Elatreon is part of Monster Hunter three only I think double check that I just want to make sure no she it's part of um part of world it's in world and it's an iceborne specifically iceborne being the DLC right and Alatreon is a very hard very very difficult um monster and um there's this there's this streamer her name is Queen pones a lot. And Alatran, you? Yeah. <laughs> and people, it is, Alatran is known for being very, very difficult. But this 
streamer. She's very good at Monster Hunter. <clears throat> and she um she basically kill has killed Ella Tran. I think she it said like four K like four thousand um something um times that she's killed it. Had you yes. heard of her before this um controversy? I have not, no. Hi, Trill. Hi, Trill. Hello. 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 You're so cozy. I don't know why I'm yelling. No worries. One second, okay? Um, I'm getting a call. One sec. Uh, okay. Jimmy, do your thing. Do your thing. Absolutely. Blah, 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 blah. Hi, everybody. You had Cozy June. And now you have Shammy that's gonna fuck everything up. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Hope everybody's doing well. Hope everybody had a great Tuesday, Taco Tuesday. What everybody have for have for dinner? I had soup and grilled cheese, and it was delicious. <laughs> uh, I know, I know, we were talking about some food mentions earlier. If you had tacos, then you get bonus points. I don't know what the points are for, but you get them. If you ate it all, you get points, but if you had tacos, you get bonus points. Curry, chicken, yummy. Was that one of your factor meals, Nezu? I missed factor. <laughs> I think that my favorite thing I got from factor was like a stuffed chicken meal. Drawing and watching Free Run. Oh, nice. We've been watching Free Run. It's so good. It's so cozy. We had my taco. Tuesday tacos yesterday, pizza day. Nice, nice. Your lunch was factor. Yeah, we we have a bunch of anime on the go. We're watching um, Horror Mia, Free Run, and uh, Dungeon Meshi. <laughs> and it all depends on like whoever's online, and that's how we pick what we watch. <laughs> but yeah, Free Run's great. Um, the art is lovely, the music is good, the story is good. Like, something about it is just so compelling. Like. I don't know, the characters are written so well, and the interactions are really good, and I guess I just kind of like... I mean, we were watching Mashley and Freerun and Black Clover nonstop, and I have a problem with fantasy anime. <laughs> wouldn't call it a problem. <laughs> There's nothing super problematic, exactly! You don't have, like, big anime titties flopping in your face or anything? It's so good, it's so good. And I think the relationship between Fern and Freerun is really sweet. And I really love seeing that develop. And I think it's interesting watching the timeline from an elf's perspective. Because, um, you know, elves live for so long. And, um, you know, she'll experience something in a year and it'll be a blink of an eye to her. And then Fern will be like, Mistress, you know it's been a year, right? <laughs> and and Fern's like, yes, and? It's just really great. Yeah, the science skips are so good. Like, go... Like, Something about it is so emotional, too, when you see her bond with her old, um, teammates. And she plays it off like, oh yeah, it was no big deal, it was really just a blink of eye in my life, but really she actually really cares for them a lot. I really appreciate we get to experience the way she does, instead of it just being, oh, that's an old elf, and here's a story of the covered one. I, I know, Himmel, I know! I am not kidding, dead ass, I cried the first episode. You, like, already get to know him and somehow get attached with him. And then see his death. And I was already crying. I was already like attached to Himmel. And like, I don't I don't know what it was. Like the show just does that. They do a good job of developing characters in single episodes where other anime fail doing that in entire seasons. I know. I know. Like, I don't know how <laughs> crying, shitting, throwing up, punching the wall, sliding down the wall. Oh, we're only on episode four. <laughs> um... Yeah, it, it seems like we're further than that, but a lot has happened. Um, we're just at the part where um, uh, Freerun is in jail and the demons come. And, and, and like she fights a demon in the jail cell. We're at that part. It's okay, Cheryl. <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. There's no context with, with what you said, so it's all good. <laughs> And they're not even shitty people at first either, like in some anime where characters develop. Yeah, that drives me nuts, okay? When when you have a character and they're awful people, and then you're supposed to like feel sympathetic for them. Like sometimes that can happen. But ultimately it's just like Ugh. 
like it's it's really hard to like feel sympathetic. Ao Elven prison shanks, not prison shanks, but uh, Elven lasers. <laughs> Crazy army bitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I forgot to write you. <laughs> Jude, it's the twelfth. <laughs> Paying your rent halfway through the month? <laughs> That's a wiggle. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> it happens. But, but yeah, yeah, yeah. That's been great. And then we've been watching um, Dungeon Meshi, which has been really cute. Um, I had no idea it was about food, I'll be honest with you. Like, I thought it was just like a dungeon anime and people go in a dungeon together. And I was like, meh about it. But then we started watching it and it is so good. Again, we're like partway through that. The most recent episode we watched is, um, I think it was like with coins. They they have like little coin bugs and then like jewels and they make it into like colorful jewel sorbet and it looks so good. If you haven't watched that trail, if you really like free run, I think you'll like this too. Like it's very chill, very low stakes. Um, there's some bands, like it's, it's good times. It's good times and there's food involved. <laughs> Tell me how you felt about Rebellion. Oh, it was really great. It was really great. Um, visually very beautiful. And um, it was pretty true to the story, I think. Although um, we had somebody in there who didn't know anything about, about Madoka before. And I said to him like, oh, so what did you think of it? And he says, I know as much about Madoka coming in as I did leaving. <laughs> That was like great, <laughs> but um, but yeah, it, it was really great. It was really good, and it kind of made me want to watch the um, OG series. Yeah, I know, I know, watching that with no context, I know, but um, he did, and he said that it was visually very interesting. <laughs> and um, yeah, yeah, I, when Monica came out, I watched it like four times. I really did, and I, I think I cried every time at the very end. Oh, Monica. I'm like I'm like having holding my fist over my heart right now, <laughs> Madoka. <laughs> Just so good. Best girl, mommy had a badass fight scene. Yeah, I know. I love that you even get to see mommy at all. I saw the visuals at a party, and that's what got me to watch it. Episode three had me like, <gasps> yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. I can't imagine seeing Madoka at a party <laughs> and being like maybe not sober and being like, whoa, what is this? <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> But yeah, there hasn't really been a show like it. Um, Ducky said it was a uh, magical girl Evangelion, and that really uh, <laughs> describes it well, I think. Um, but yeah, it was really great. Uh, what else we have? We're also watching uh, season two of Horimiya, which has been quite good. Um, it doesn't even really feel like a season two to me. It just kind of feels like a continuation of the OG story. I've been told Evangelion will be right in my alley because I love tragedy. Trail, you have to watch Evangelion. It is a classic. You have to watch it. Have to. <laughs> when you're done with free run, watch Evangelion, dead ass. Like, it, 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 yeah, it's it's a classic. We're watching it also with a friend right now. The same friend that watched Madoka and was like, I have no clue what is going on. <laughs> and uh, he's been liking it, so... um. Yeah, yeah. Um, God, me and Bree have seen also seen Evangelion like four or five times. It's really that bitch. <laughs> it's one of those shows too that you have to watch multiple times to like really get what's happening. <laughs> but that kind of makes it great. Like, there's rewatch value to it. Had to rewatch Rebellion three times to fully grasp what the fuck was going. On. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Honestly, though, yeah, Evangelion is like that. It really is. <laughs> it really is. That was not a joke. Like, like it, it literally is. <laughs> Maybe the characters just aren't as cute, but like, <laughs> I could see you liking the um the Eva units. Like, I could see that being um your vibe, your like um aesthetic vibe, so to speak. <laughs> um, you'll probably recognize some memes too, <laughs> because Evangelion like does have like some some memes out there. So um, yeah, highly recommend. I don't know what's next on our to watch list. Um, honestly, June says, hey, I want to watch blah, blah, blah. And so we watch it. <laughs> um, we have a season of Spy Family we haven't seen yet that I super want to see because I absolutely love Spy Family. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have um, our media list that we consume together is very massive. <laughs> Whether that be um, games or shows or whatever. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't know why either, because like we love the first season. I cosplayed Anya like three times. <laughs> and we just never got around to watching the rest of it. Ah, uh, what's good lately? I eventually want to watch Jujutsu Kaisen because it's everywhere and everybody seems to love it. And people are thirsty for Gojo, so I have to see what that's all about. Uh, that's really it right now, I think. But like, I'm pretty open. I, I don't think there's much that I won't watch. If it's like straight, if, I, I guess if it's straight up like stereotypical, like girl trips and falls into chest or whatever that's annoying at this point but i've seen the first season and enjoyed the movie too yeah 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 it's huge right now i want to rewatch my cross seven the new season by Michelle. i'll watch konosuba oh yeah konosuba yeah bye sir it's your birthday tomorrow oh my god happy birthday i'm sorry you have to work but i hope you have a great day take care Hello, Kiara Stern. How's it going? Hello. Uh, June is away uh, taking care of uh, the beehive for a moment. <laughs> uh, so I'm babysitting chat for now. I have not taken it over. <laughs> I'm just babysitting. She has to pay the, the big bee um, the rent for the hive. So um, <laughs> she's off doing that. But hello, hello. Uh, yeah, um, I don't really keep track of, like, current anime, I'll be honest. I just kind of watch whatever everybody else is watching. She looks like she's asking us to save her with that face. <laughs> Not the... Anna Alouette face, uh, the, the, the D face. <laughs> she even got a call from the BIR, the bears, yes, exactly, Acer. <laughs> oh my god, the bears. Yeah, we're getting a honey audit right now. So if you see a claw swooping, <laughs> I'm fine. Send help. They have my family. <laughs> June blinked twice. <laughs> the BIRS doesn't fuck around, okay? Like, they're really going to get down to business. If you don't give them the honey tithe. <laughs> Massive honey sting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I've suspected that June might be running some kind of like honey mafia for a bit, so maybe they're on her about that too. I kind of thought that was more in the DL, but maybe not. <laughs> Would that not be pronounced as beers? <laughs> beers? <laughs> maybe. Do bees drink beer? Well, well, June's got a pina colada, so. But she's a queen bee. Like, there's more room for that to go around. Versus a worker bee. <laughs> Dude, I don't know how long I can keep this up, man. <laughs> Hi, Ducky! Hello! Hello, hello! How are you? What did you have for supper? How was Dune? Please tell hello. us. Hello, Sorry, Dune! Welcome so back! Long. Oh my gosh, my, my landlord <laughs> wanted to talk my ear off, as usual. Um, yes. No problem. We were talking about anime, as you heard. <laughs> Oh, oh, yeah, I did hear. I did hear a little bit. Yeah. Yes. Go, go, yes. go if you need to. Mumble needs wants something to drink. Okay. Meat is made from honey. True. I don't know. True. She looks like she's at. What do you mean? Yeah, I was. I was asking for help. You were doing the N L O A D phase. It's kind of like... excellent. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I want to hear. I'm catching up. Hold on. Yeah. The badass fight scene, Mommy. We we're talking about the movie for a bit. Mm hmm. I gotta get some sleep for work slash birthday tomorrow. Wait, is it. Is it Acer's birthday? Acer, is it your birthday? I wanna at least give you a happy birthday before you leave. Hey. Um. Do you get a call from the BIRS? It's the Bears? Oh no. <laughs> Yeah, I was saying that um, the the hive was getting raided. <laughs> hi, was getting Kiara audited. <laughs> hi, Kia, how are you? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hello. Oh, Ducky's here. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Hi, Ducky. Yeah, how was Dune? How was Dune? Hopefully, the movie 
was good. Hopefully it was no, good. do not see the F. Oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, sorry. I was, um... I was... Talking about this... The story. Hold on. One second. Yeah, the story! That's right. <laughs> okay, so for people who are new to this, um, uh, or just got here, I'll give a really quick rundown. So, recently, there is, uh, there is a huge controversy in the Monster Hunter, um... Unity about a speedrunner, um, or I should say a streamer who decided to do a blind speedrun of a monster called Alatrayan in, um, in, it's in Monster Hunter World, Iceborne DLC. And, uh, there's a huge controversy because, uh, Alatrayan is considered one of the hardest, um, monsters in the game. Uh, it is very difficult, um, and while um, while the streamer, her name is Queen's Pones a lot. Queen Pones a lot. We can just call her Queen. Um, well, Queen, she um, she did um, she has killed Elytrian multiple times, uh, like in the thousands. Uh, it doesn't matter how many times that you play something or you beat something. Playing it blindfold is a completely different aspect, right? Can I ask why she would want to beat that one monster so many times? Just because of difficulty or...? Difficulty or um, <clears throat> for to be considered an expert. She has been proven to be cheating as I see and hear it. Yes. So she was... She was... Um, there was a huge controversy about her cheating on that... Um, on her stream. Uh, her blindfold stream and um lady kimikiteki was getting worried about your streak <laughs> like, <laughs> you guys. um uh and so people at first were looking at her and were, were like whoa that's amazing she was able to beat alatran blindfold that's crazy but um there are people who came out and started to debunk her um, kind of her her blindfold run because there are a lot of things that she wasn't showing. Number one, her blindfold was not blindfold run kind of acceptable. Um, because like people, you could still uh, see through it, or yeah, because okay, so I'm gonna send you send you guys a video and chat um, from Carl Jobst, and he is somebody who likes speedrunning a lot, but he also. Um, he is, is also somebody who uh, kind of reports and looks through a lot of these speedrun speedrunning um, attempts, and he made huge made a huge um, uproar about this particular one. So um, here is the link to that by Carl Jobs. I've seen. Oops, oops. <laughs> Thank you, Lud and Schlatt. There you go. A little bit softer. Anyway, um, he made a video on that, kind of debunking and saying she basically could see. Uh, he argued that, <laughs> yeah, I know. That's a fucking bop. I know, Shadow. Um, he made an uh, argument that it's kind of like if you were to put, um, kind of like your shirt over your over your head, right? Regardless of whether or not, like, you can still see through your shirt a little bit. But you can still see light. You can still see a little bit of what, like, your, like, your surroundings. Regardless, right? And like, even looking at the thumbnail, kind of looks like she has kind of put like a scarf over her eyes, or like it doesn't look like it's really locked in. You know? <laughs> exactly. It's not locked yeah. in, and it looks like it's just like one layer. So you can kind of see. This war of mine, I haven't played that one in a long while, Shadow. Holy shit. Um, it's like robbers using nylon. Yeah, like you can... Robbers, like you can't see from... The robbers, you can't see the robbers' face or their, their eyes. But because robbers are so close to the cloth of the nylon, you can see through the nylon, right? Mm. Um, so, 
um, that argument came through and people were like, whoa, you're a fucking cheater, right? And so she ended up deciding to do a second run, except she used a, uh, she used a blindfold that was, um, also, do you have something on your forehead? Where? (laughs) (laughs) (sighs) Um, she, she did a second one where she used an official blindfold, uh, that's used by blindfold speedrunners. She also got the, like, she ended up getting, um, advice from an official speedrunner who is, like, a blindfold speedrunner as well. And, uh, she basically didn't do the things that he told her to, except a few. Um, I'll I'll send this, I'll go ahead and send the video that's from Carl Jobs. There, there, uh, there are others that have made videos as well if uh Kara, if you want to um suggest to me then you're free to as well because i don't know all of them but i do know that carl's are the most popular for sure and it's mainly because he's he himself is very popular but i'm sure there are other creators who have done and uh created or reached out to different sources more reliable sources about the story and trying to um kind of uh, paint the picture as to why that she was cheating in this scenario. Uh, one of the things that people were arguing in this was that she had a third monitor that, because her, her cameras were only showing two monitors, but she had a third monitor that was actually holding the camera that was yeah. she was playing on it in actuality, and um, she was having, o- she had OBS on it. Like she had OBS, you know how when you have like a game or something, you can have OBS stream on it and you can look at the game through OBS. Right. That's basically what she was doing. Mm. And at some point, she like fucking self-reported at the beginning because she literally started reading chat before she <laughs> started the run a little bit when she was supposed <laughs> to be blindfolded. Like, girl, or, or not sorry, but blindfolded. When she was not supposed to be able to see any of the monitors like that's if hilarious if oh they're my covered God. up then why are you reading chat like how can you see right but it was because she was able to read it on her third monitor and so they were they were they're pointing that out hello takaru hello how are you welcome hello but there are another there's another point where she literally like she had obs on her middle monitor at first and then she did like some finagling which mm. i mean like how can you finagle with your monitors covered right yeah and she she basically like moved, what she like moved windows around or whatever like she moved she moved obs from her middle screen which she was showing to everyone to her third monitor where she could see and when she checked the middle monitor again afterwards everybody could see that there was nothing in the middle monitor. So sh- whatever uh, window OBS that was there is now gone. Where did it go? And how could it have been gone? Like you can't see, right? Mm. So like there's a lot there's a lot of controversy with it. There are a lot of mods and people of hers that are like fans of hers that are arguing for her and being like, Oh, you're just bullying her and stuff like that. But, that's cringe, like, that's cringe. <laughs> <laughs> Um, one of her mods is like, oh, just I've seen her do it IRL, just have her do it again, just with the way that you guys want her to do it. Um, I seem to have trouble finding Infoville's video. Oh. Um, well, if you do manage to find it, or if a- another person finds it, like more than likely once you watch this, you'll find others that are related. So uh, definitely check that out. Um, but people are also like, well, how can she see past this blindfold that is considered um, official for blind blindfold speedrunners and it's because if you keep it loose enough on your face you can actually see under the gaps between mm-hmm. your nose that like you you know like i've actually put on i'm sure shammy has as well and others have put on a sleeping mask and if it's loose enough, you can see under the gaps of a sleeping mask. Or if you angle it like just right, you can. Yeah, 
exactly make it look like it's covering but it's not like it's not actually and that's yeah. what people were arguing they're like she kept scrunching up her nose to push the blindfold up where mm. regardless of whether or not it's like staying on her face when she scrunches it up it gives her more of a gap so she can see and so and the gameplay was sus too like she wasn't using lock on what she was what she was doing was she was manually adjusting the camera so it could be adjusted like perfectly like level again but how are you able to adjust the level right when yeah you can't see where the camera is you know what I mean? yeah that's interesting <laughs> adjust these how come the discord's not working hmm how about socials whoops hi salary hi salary i shouldn't have shouted you out if it could be that way i found <laughs> the video but where to post it um uh, oh if if my discord i don't know why the commands for um for stream stream labs isn't working right now or um not stream stream my stream um commands aren't working um i have a discord link in my about page if you want to use that um you can post it in general games if you'd like to general games is fine all the way at the bottom i've been good just some adulting shit that i had to take care of since 8 a.m oh my gosh same my adulting stuff uh, included work <laughs> and that's about it um what about you how have you been i've been doing well i'm i've been kind of tired today but generally um doing well doing well thank you for asking i miss you takara i feel like i haven't seen you in around in a bit but i also could have goldfish brain and um just forget that you've been around. <laughs> like you were you were in the next the, the last like stream or the stream before and I'm goldfish just like, brain takara <laughs> i miss you i haven't seen you ever and i'm just like jamie you saw me yesterday <laughs> like, <laughs> son of a bitch <laughs> Dude, it's me, Salary. I don't know. Hey, Big not, Dog! I don't know, Salary. I only know Big Dog. <laughs> now, let me see if Kiar uh, posted it. Not yet. Okay, no worries. Did you get in yet? Yes, Kiar. I'll say hello to you. Which part of Discord? It's all the way in, um, all the way towards the bottom. It's that that category in general games. No, you're right. I haven't been here for some time. Just no time for Twitch lately. No, 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 no. You're okay. You know, life kind of hits you in the face, and there's really nothing you can do about it except ride the waves at times. You know. So no worries, no worries. Um. But yeah, so this whole thing was actually covered by Ad uh, Asmongold, and Asmongold got so far into it that he managed to get everybody who, like, helped Queen on her, uh, all, like, her main mod, and then also uh, the guy who was her tech guy, like, who put up her setup, and then uh, she got, he, he got... The guy who taught her how to go against Elytrian, and then he also got the speedrunner who gave her all the advice. And even mm. the speedrunner who gave her the advice, because uh, um, Esmond, when he when he has them on, he asks the main question. He says, "Do you think that she she cheated? She complete this blindfold run?" And most of the people who actually uh, said something or like helped her are like yes i think she has and i've seen her do it in person all the time wow and but when like asked more details about it they kind of break like the guy who was the tech person was like uh she they're like uh asman is like oh have you seen her do it in person and he's like yes in person he goes so you've seen her beat alatrain blindfolded and he goes well, technically not blindfolded and he's like well what does that That's mean what does that the mean? whole point that's why and he's like oh i've seen her like go against elatrian while talking to me and not really looking at this sh the screen for a little bit 
and she's oh, okay. doing fine. She's doing fine, but she goes back to it, right? So she's like talking to me, but still playing. And it's just like, well, we're not talking about that. <laughs> like, That's what happens when you surround yourself in Sims. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, yeah. The only person who was really honest, if you want to look at Eisman's um, video, about, I know, I know. Um, let me let me find it. Asmund. Um, let me. Okay, so um, the uh, the thing that she. Uh, the only person that, that said, hey, I don't think this is legitimate, is the speedrunner. The blindfold hey. speedrunner was like, in terms of speedrunning roles, I am 97% chance, uh, like, um, I'm at 97% uh, certain that she, she cheated. Just based upon, like, the speedrun, blindfold speedrun roles. This none of this would, none of this would count. Such a specific stat. I'm ninety-seven percent sure. <laughs> well, because Asmin was like, "What's the ch chance of you being interest?" Like, he goes very high, and but he didn't want to like be mean about it. So Asmin was like, "What about the percentage of ninety-seven percent?" And he goes, okay, fine. Yes, 97%. <laughs> wow. Yeah, so it was um it was definitely interesting. Um but yeah, he he um yeah, he he basically said based upon the roles of speedrunning and blindfolds, she can she would not count that would not count for speed running because her like none of her cameras are show or none of the cam she doesn't have cameras showing the back of her monitors like her whole setup and because of that it's like we don't know what's there yeah not only that but she keeps like fidgeting and like moving things and stuff like that like it's not properly on her face the, the blindfold so it doesn't doesn't it doesn't really like count like anything any of the stuff that she has there isn't legitimate according to uh at least from what the speed running community will say so uh, talking to chat that. one is hilarious that's so funny <laughs> so funny <laughs> it is actually so funny um because she like catches herself halfway because yeah. uh, she said somebody asked, "Will this be posted on um an unedited?" And she says, "Yes, it'll be posted in on un yeah oh yeah so it'll be posted unedited." And she's like, "Um, yeah, it'll it'll be up." <laughs> in case you were wondering, not because I just read the question, but you know, <laughs> if if you look, she constantly looks at her third monitor like an addict. Yes, she does. She looks That's at so her funny. yeah. She looks at her monitor constantly. Like she looks at her monitor like towards the end as well and she ends her her run by looking at the monitor mm. like girl what are you doing <laughs> <laughs> um okay so let me go ahead and give you asmin's um uh video to that <laughs> okay. it's not the speedrun salary it's like blindfold she's supposed to be blindfolded you can't look at unless you're, uh, yeah. It, it's it's blindfolded. So how unless you're you're that? fucking with us. <laughs> yeah, that's weird. <laughs> well, it was, I got nothing. <laughs> it was that. It, it was that. Like her, both of her. Um. Uh, let me. Oompa Bill. Uh, let me see. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna go ahead and check his um his videos.
It's posted on Discord? Oh, okay, sorry. Let me go ahead and I'm just gonna grab your link. Um, this is from Kiar. They did all the searching. That is the um the link to um Oh no no no, that's sorry, that that's Carl's. I meant uh Oompville. Oompavilles. I'm not able to find Oompavilles though. I don't know why. I post I posted both um both of Carl's um both of Carl's videos. His first one and his second one. Um I also posted uh Asmund's interview with the mods and everybody else. So. But yeah, it's very interesting. Apparently they want to do a third run. Um and this time because before uh I guess like <sighs> she she at first when she was doubted for the first one she was like i'll do it again and like really really fast but this time she's like less fast to do so so they're like mm, why is that but it is maybe i had the wrong youtuber maybe i mean the one that i was was carl yeah carl carl's one hello pingo we just finished talking about a um um we just finished talking about a controversy with the Monster Hunter community. I sincerely apologize, I was very wrong. Oh, no worries. No worries. I do know there's one more person who um did who did some really deep diving um by by talking to an official speedrunner. Oh my gosh, I don't remember his name. It starts with a B. He did speedrunning of multiple games, including, um... Was it Mario 64? I don't remember. I've been watching a lot of controversies. Yeah, me too. I watch a lot because, um... When I work, I... I'm <laughs> not doing much. Not that, not that I'm not doing much, it's just that I need kind of like something in the background, you know? Stationary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need some... Some some stuff to listen to, to be entertained by. <laughs> um, but yes, yes, yes. So it, it was an interesting one. Yeah, it's... Oh, yeah. It's an interesting one. It was definitely interesting. I sent a few uh, links if you want to check them out, Pango, um, if you're really interested in the Monster Hunter controversy. Um, apparently, she's going to be doing it a third time, maybe. Um, and the speedrunner who initially um, tried to help her with the uh, with her setup and stuff to have it be legitimate, he said that um, he said that he would be willing to fly down and live stream it from behind her if need be, just so it can be um, official and nobody can say that she cheated because he would be there. Which is very gracious of him, um, and really would um, would fix this whole problem. Also, uh, Asmund was like, "Why did she have to cover her monitors? Why didn't she just turn off her monitors?" And uh, I guess her excuse was that if she turns off her monitors, then it changes the input from HDMI to uh, DV, and it ends up like fucking up with the screen or the, with the with the with OBS which at that point um <laughs> Asmund's like I've been streaming for a very long time and I've never heard of anything like that ever <laughs> well but, to me I feel like that kind of makes sense but at the same time like I've never like maybe not were, because like if yeah. you were to turn off if you were to have OBS on right now and you were to turn off your monitor what do you think would happen you think, I like, guess, like, it wouldn't, um, it w the capture wouldn't change, I guess, right? Because you're just turning right. your monitor off, but that stuff's still running, isn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah. So, like, you, you would still, it would still be running, right? So it would still be, everybody would still be able to see the game that's, at that point, not moving, uh, like, hypothetically, right? So, yeah. Yeah. Um, or if you decide to type or something, they'd be able to see, but you won't be able to see. Uh, 
but yeah, so they were like, why don't you turn off the monitors? And it's like, oh, with her PC, her PC setup, she cannot. And the Aspen Gold's like, I literally have the exact same PC setup. I use two PCs and I'm using like a 4K monitor thing. And, um, I can personally attest due to idi idiocy that turning off the monitor makes no difference other than you being blind. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> other than you being blind, it doesn't change anything. Like you can turn off Because you're monitor. not shutting off your, your game or anything. Like you're not shutting off any programs. You're just yeah. turning your monitor off. So. Exactly. And you can still hear things too. Like, you can yeah. still hear music, you can still hear sound effects, whatever it is. So, like, if you were to truly do a blindfold run, turning off your monitors is, um, very acceptable, I think. Yeah! <laughs> and, and people are like, oh, like, why don't, uh, I don't know, they were like, is it okay if she has this program here, or this program here, and during that entire interview thing, I was like, who the fuck cares what she has on her screen? She's not going to be able to see them, or she's not supposed to be able to see them anyway. So why does it matter, right? Yeah. Um, crazy video? Yeah, it, it is a crazy video. There's a part where Jacob literally starts juggling with the shirt over his head just to show that blindfold or blindfold <laughs> is bullshit. It's so actually pretty funny. The monitor is strictly displayed. Yes, yes. The mechanics behind it almost do kind of make it seem impossible to do, though. Um, when they mention the attack that has no sound cue, then dodging it? Yeah, exactly. How do you know that the attack is there when there's no sound cue? Well, that's why it was so impressive, right? That's probably why everybody was like, whoa, holy shit, that's wow. crazy! Like <laughs> Actual speedrunners. Mm, um, I don't think so. <laughs> yeah. That story reminds me of the whole thing with Billy Mitchell with the... Um, uh, Donkey Kong arcade machine. Did you oh, hear about yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Can, you tell, can you tell chat though? Because in case they're they're unaware, um, it's it's a TLDR, yeah. but basically, um, <laughs> it's basically a Billy Billy Mitchell. He was um a pro gamer back in like the arcade days. So I want to say like eighties, nineties, and his whole shtick was that he had the um, world record for Donkey Kong. But he was, like, untouchable. Like, his numbers were so high that, like, literally nobody could get anywhere close to him. And so for the longest time, he was registered as the, like, officially registered as the world record holder, world champion of Donkey Kong. And I don't know how it came out, but, like, years later, I guess people investigated it and discovered that he was literally, like, manipulating the arcade machine to like doctor the points to like make them artificially high which is crazy at least to me it is because like back in that day that wasn't so commonplace as it is now right where you could just like go in hack whatever come out so yeah it was a whole thing for years and years he whole he was a record holder i want to say he got like charged for something like he got charged for fraud or some shit like 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 he actually got like federal charges for this cheating which is crazy um so yeah it's a whole thing there's document like i highly recommend looking it up on youtube there's some crazy documentaries about it but like it's crazy too because it spanned over like decades and they only found out like recently within the last 10 years or so the extent of his cheating how he was cheating like it it's a whole and now he's like disgraced in the video game world it's crazy <laughs> Let me see if I can find a good video, and I'll post it in a in the Discord if I can find one. <sighs> Billy Mitchell cheat. Oh, Carl did one on Billy too. That's so funny. <laughs> Story is replicating the movie Pixels. Yeah, Pixels. Really? Oh yeah, I actually know what you're, what you're talking about. That was pretty funny. There are actually a few uh, movies that have uh, referenced. Uh, Billy Mitchell before <laughs> just because I, he was like yeah I did all this stuff but you cheated no <laughs> oh literally he he'll so act like, like a gigantic child he'll be like yeah. a huge baby about it yes yes okay I found so a funny. whole ass fucking playlist that Carl made <laughs> that's um, hilarious I'll put it in CNC just because it, it, he, he did get charged it's, it's a crime <laughs> even if it's not a crime it's a crime in our heart so <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> hmm. 
Oh, and by the way, Kiar did redeem a, um, a hydrate and a posture check and stretch. So you ready? Yeah. Ready? Cheers. Glasses. Cheers. <laughs> Plink. Plink. Ah. <sighs> Thank you, Kiar. I've been yeah, pretty dehydrated yeah. lately, so I appreciate you. <laughs> It'll help with feeling sleepy, too. So. Mm -hmm. People like can give gamers a bad rap. Oh, for sure. But exactly. hopefully, I really hope that there are more gamers that give good reps than bad reps. Mm. Yeah, the gaming community is pretty cool overall. <laughs> you know what's really funny? Um, I was on Trill's um, stream today, and mm -hmm. uh, we were talking about games and how much we like play games. And it was so funny because um, we were talking about how like a thousand hours in a game is like kind of like nothing now. <laughs> Yeah, honestly. <laughs> like, like a thousand hours or even a hundred hours. Oh, a hundred something, five hundred something. It's just like, holy shit. I remember one of her, her, um, her, her chatters were like, I have 500 hours on Baldur's Gate this month alone. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, I'm literally opening thing. up Sims 4 to check. I think I just broke like 2,000 something hours. I'm literally. Yeah. <laughs> And my on my Steam tells me that I'm at three point three thousand hours for Final Fantasy fourteen. Oh yeah. And I was telling uh, I was telling Joel, I'm like, um, it's one of those things where you're not sure if you should be proud or you should be ashamed. <laughs> and I'm kind of both. <laughs> Listen, you could have spent those three thousand hours doing something way worse. You could have like been in debt. You could have been gambling. You could have been doing drugs. Okay, like <laughs> exactly. Instead, I'm doing drugs in a video game. <laughs> No. Right, right. So it's fine. Uh, give me the, give me the mommy crystal. Thank you, <laughs> Kaidalyn. The bee crystals. <laughs> mm -hmm. I have two gay hours or something in City Skylines. Mm, yeah, yeah. It just do be like that sometimes. I remember there was this one. I think there was this one season where you just didn't play anything in <laughs> City Skylines. <laughs> I have uh, 2,106 hours on The Sims. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. I know that I'm not good at games, but terrible games. Gamers tend to make news more than good gamers, which gives everyone a bad image of gaming, which makes me depressed. Mm. I mean, esports is a big thing. It is, but like, we have to understand that esports is like. <laughs> It is like the 1% of gamers. As oh, well. yeah, but I just mean, like, at least it um, showcases, like, a Talent, legitimate like, skill. Yeah, and, like, yeah, yeah, sure. yeah. But I will say yeah. that, like, I personally think that there are more bad gamers than there are good gamers, but that's fine. Like, there's nothing wrong with being a bad gamer if at the end of the day you're having fun and that's your goal right are you I'm talking like skill wise like bad skill, skill wise. wise yeah oh, i think yeah. there's a yeah. lot of there's a lot of gamers i feel like a majority of gamers are pretty bad um um however however that's okay i don't think that's necessarily like a bad thing like you i um i think there was actually a poll a poll no statistics um for like multiple games like overwatch valorant a majority of people actually lie in the um if gold is like average most of them lie in silver yeah so they're like worse than average but that's like okay it's okay. i mean that's still kind of average right like it's no. mostly it's mostly bad like it's almost like having if if gold is a C, then you're talking about majority of players are D, like getting mm -hmm. a D grade, right? Um, <clears throat> but um, there are maybe small... less skilled would be better than saying that. Like most gamers are less skilled. <laughs> yeah, like less like less than less than what is considered expected to be average for that for that game. But again, like there's no 
issue with that. Like, you have to understand it's like an ecosystem, right? There must be less skilled players when there are very small, very, very, very pro level players, right? Of course, that goes for anything. It, 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 yeah, it just it's just part of the ecosystem. It's just <clears> part <throat> of it. It's okay to be a, it's okay to be a, um, unskilled player because you have to remember that being unskilled is not permanent as well because you have to think unskilled players also mean experience and they're always going to be especially for modern games an influx of new players so you know you're gonna have new players old players mixing around some are gonna be skilled some are gonna be unskilled that's fine it's okay uh, I have to remind I have to remind KB of this sometimes because he's just like why am I paired with all these people I'm like because that's just the way that the ecosystem works you're gonna have especially when it comes to like games that don't have a lot of people playing at the time you get paired with people you don't want to be paired with because literally the game doesn't have enough people to pair you with at your level <laughs> that are well, like, like they're oh, trying to figure out where the new people are right they're trying to figure out where they lie like you gotta start somewhere mm -hmm. right? yeah oh. right and, <laughs> and like the game needs to figure out where they fit compared to you too and that means having a couple bad games as well um but let me go ahead and read i have near a thousand a thousand hours in monster girl a thousand but that's not a bad thing yeah that's not <laughs> like me yeah the like bad bad players or or like unskilled players well esports promotes the kind of uh gamers news will report on criminal gamers Pro Promotes, sorry, while well, esports promotes the kind, the kind of gamers, gamers news. Sorry, I'm, I'm having trouble reading that. Uh, it's mostly negative stories that make news for everything, so it's not limited to gaming. Yeah, especially if you look at news, most of, most news I feel like is very negative to begin with. It is. It's negative bias for sure. Yeah, and that's the reason why you have to be very careful with uh, reading news and basically doom scrolling and. Yeah, <clears throat> stuff like that because it can really get down on your mood um, because they're not going to report who wants to report you know I don't know a, a, a group of high schoolers who have helped the elderly nobody wants to fucking report that they want to hear the elderly got robbed in this neighborhood recently and <laughs> aren't the youth terrible <laughs> oh my god they don't know what they're doing our youth is doomed our entire race is doomed and it's just like oh Man, Dude, yeah. Come on. By bad gamers, I mean gamers that commit crimes. Oh no. I mean criminal people. No, no. I don't even. If you're a criminal and you play a game, I don't consider you a gamer. You're not even a gamer. Yeah. If you have to <laughs> fucking cheat, like that's not gaming. That's just cheating. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> you're. I don't. If you can't even play by the rules, then why? bother playing but whatever. my favorite Listen. thing i watch this with brie sometimes but he'll watch videos like uh it's, it's flats like the overwatch guy flats. of course it's flat uh, is it when yeah. he's like oh stream sniper is on the other side oh there's a like a streamer or not a hacker on the other side and we beat him anyway no no videos? no it's um it's where somebody um submits to him a video of somebody cheating like oh i was playing with a cheater in my game today like we could tell and so he'll mm -hmm. look at he'll look at it and determine like oh yeah they were cheating here's how it's kind of interesting what's hilarious though is down, people, yeah. yeah it's hilarious when people get the aim bots and stuff and they're still really bad <laughs> like they've obviously never played overwatch before that kind of bad and like, they're like literally they're... pointing at the ground, and then yeah, like, like, like shooting in the... yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> they'll aim to the sky and then like kill somebody into it. It's so funny. <laughs> yeah, it can be, it can be fucking hilarious. Some of these aimbots and just bots in general, it's just crazy. <sighs> Man, like cheating won't help you if you can't even like look upright. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's true. Or like it's aim true. your gun. <laughs> Yeah, please aim your gun. Please aim your gun. Yeah, like, it's... Yeah. <laughs> mm. <sighs> but... I don't understand what you mean by... I don't know how you're able to do it. You, We literally talk for an entire hour right now. Shut me up. That's you and me, though. Like, I feel like... <laughs> I don't know. I feel like when I do my stream, um... 
I'll chat. Like, I'll chat as long as chat keeps going. And then it'll stop. And then, I don't know, something maybe will just be like, okay, time for the game now. Like, I don't know. Like, I, like, I come with topics to talk about. Like, I say hello. I'll talk about my gratitude. Um, I'll, you know, I'll manifest it. Like, all that, all that stuff. I'll, like, talk about... Ducky will post what she had for dinner, and we'll talk about that. Mm. <laughs> I'll mention the type of tea I drank. And then that's it. And I'm wondering if people just want to get to Kyle that badly or what, but like, not that I'm complaining. Not that I'm complaining. I, I, I don't mind that, but it's just funny. Like, it's just, it's different, I guess. Because, like, you're chatting on and on and on and on, and then mine stops, and that's when I'm like, okay, well, yeah, I, don't I don't know anything else to talk about. I'm not going to force it. I'll just play my game now, right? So those people just... You guys talk about me yapping. It's you guys yapping. Let's just be honest. Honestly, yeah. Honestly. <laughs> yap, 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 yap. That's you guys. Yap, 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 yap. Because um, I just go as long as my chat goes, right? I'm not going to force it. So, mm -hmm. yeah, it's funny. <laughs> it's because here they can be degenerates. Yeah. They, they, they allow, they're like, I'm allowed. Mm hmm. Then let me. <laughs> There's only oh whole, so much wholesome shit you can say. Versus wow, is June still eating. I've been trying to eat for the last two hours. What do you mean, Kiar? You try eating and holding a conversation at the same time. I don't know. <laughs> mm. Just don't always have the responses of the chatting will go by faster. True. Ignore chat. Ignore chat. <laughs> Just don't think. <laughs> Don't close chat and okay, folks. So literally, stop, stop <laughs> yapping, stop having a full ass woman moment, and just fucking <laughs> not the certified woman moment. <laughs> the certified woman moment. TM. If only you could stop thinking about it. Honestly, my mom, when I told her, um. Very sorry, I thought you were done. No, I've been trying to eat my food. No, I'm good. You're good. You're good. Um, <clears throat> um, when I was telling my mom, like, she was like, because I, I told you, I showed her my about page and mm. like my entire channel and stuff. And I was like, oh, and here's my stuff here. Here are my panels. I'm like, I have my schedule here. And she looked at it. She's like, wait, you're supposed to be starting soon. I'm like, yeah, oh my God. I told them 730. It's okay. Mm -hmm. And she's like, but it's almost there. Uh, she's like, you're gonna be late. Uh, and she goes, and you've been talking this entire time. How are you gonna, you're gonna talk more? I'm like, oh, you have no fucking clue, man. You're gonna talk more? You're, you have no clue. My chat loves to talk, okay? They love to talk. Um, and she's like, how do you talk so much? And I'm like, mom, <laughs> you can't tell me, how do you talk so I was like, oh my god. Whoa. Mama yapper talking to baby yapper. Oh. You got a lot of nerve, mom. You got a lot Funny. of nerve. Where do you think I got it? Just genetic. <laughs> I know, right? Mm. But anyway. Um, remember we're just <laughs> Japanese lessons? I was gonna mention if you were eating, so <laughs> I was like, okay, we're two hours in and, <laughs> and we're done. Um, I'm actually gonna take a quick bio break and then we can get started. So just give me one second. Yeah, BRB. We all have the good words. Yeah, we all do. We do. We do. Cyber socializing is different from IRL socializing. That's true. I don't have any issue with IRL socializing either. Um, but cy cyber socializing is more accessible for me. That's all. Mm. Mm. With IRL socializing, it just requires a lot more coordination. Um, which, like, I feel like can be really hard for some adults. Like, if I were to suddenly out of nowhere be like, hey guys, you guys want to meet up after work at 6 o'clock? Some people will already have expectations or um, what's the word for it? Um, they will already have 
a schedule that they have to do. Um, they they have obligations. I'm sorry. The word's obligations. They'll, they'll have obligations like work, family, um, things like that. So I can't just like drop it on them. Or they maybe ha they have to stay home to take care of something. Whether that's like self-care or whatever it is. But with like... <laughs> With cyber socializing, it's like you can be home and comfortable and still socialize with people and still do your obligations by multitasking. So it's like just easier. Um, IRL socializing oh. is a lot more commitment. IMO. You have to get dressed. You have to like go somewhere. You have to like <laughs> leave your house. Yeah, I was saying that like when you're an adult, it's hard to IRL socialize sometimes because you have obligations to take care of, whether that's, you know, you have pets, you have family, you have work, whatever it be, but cy cyber, socializing, cyber socializing you can do because you can kind of freely... Sorry, I have hiccups. Ugh. Hold on. <laughs> and like, I, I'm tired after work. I don't want to like then go somewhere else. That's when I'm home, right? Like <laughs> <clears throat> That's true. If you're tired, then it's like, uh... Um, my IRL socialization battery runs out quick due to work, but cyber socialization is a different battery. So I can extend my IRL social battery depending on the situation. Yeah, I think it also depends on the type of people that you're talking to. Mm -hmm. Some people will be more, um, they'll be, they'll be more draining, um, as opposed to some others. Like, Shammy, Shammy, uh, for me, because I've known Shammy for so long and how close I am to Shammy, um, she takes little to nothing for my social social battery. Mm -hmm, I agree. Mm -hmm. um, but let's say I'm talking to something, someone um, like a streamer that is new to me and I want to make a good impression. That is going to drain my social battery faster simply because it requires me to think harder <laughs> about my uh, about my answers and also the type of impression that I want to kind of uh, put out. So. I'll, it's not that I'll doctor my my responses, but it's just that like you think about them more. You think you know? about them more, yeah. Mm -hmm. Some IRL people can even be re-energizing. Some people IRL can be. Yeah, I've been told that I can. I I do that sometimes. It depends on what we're doing. Like if like most of the time, people ask me out to like go out to eat or go to a cafe or something, and like drinking boba and just talking and chatting can be very re-energizing. Re For sure. Um, I am I am an ambivert though, so for some, in so for me, socializing in general, whether that be, um, <clears throat> uh, like socializing and also being by myself, doesn't really matter. It energizes me regardless. So, like I'm the same, regardless of anything. But for introverts, for example, it's gonna be harder for them. Um. Like, people IRL, even if you're in a cafe, <laughs> even if you're, even if you're in a cafe and in a comfy place, and with somebody who is comfy with you, with you um, may, that still may not be energizing for them, because they have to go out, they have to be in a place that's uncomfortable, they have to put on clothes that's not comfy, and be in a weird place where people might be looking at them. And then there's, and there's stimulus everywhere because people are loud and there's sounds. And yeah, there's like, oh, the blender ding. went off. Oh my god, this first <laughs> person is fucking talking loud as hell next to me. I can't mm -hmm. hear you. Oh my god, the music. What the hell? What what type of music is this? Is, the, is this Mariah Carey? Or is this Adele? <laughs> I don't remember. And it's just like, <laughs> well. you know, there's just a lot. There's a lot. But um, it's just the way that they process um, energy. And... Um, yeah, some uh, some people have. <clears throat> oh, I'm an introvert, so it takes a specific type of person to re-energize me. Mm. Feel that? I get. I, I feel that. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I will say though, I think streaming has um, changed my battery a little bit. <laughs> I, yeah. I I feel more apt to like hang out with people and stuff and talk to people. So that's cool. Mm hmm. Yeah, I mean, I think it's kind of um, a habit thing. Mm -hmm. um, honestly, while people have uh, during the pandemic, we're like, man, I I don't want to talk to anyone anymore. I talk mm -hmm. to I talk to people in VC during the pandemic every single day, almost every hour. 
-hmm. And it felt weird not talking to somebody during the pandemic. Yeah. <laughs> like, well, I it drove me nuts when people time. would be like, I hate this. I'm so lonely. I blah, 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 blah. I don't know. Like, I just. I don't know. <laughs> you had a lot of fucking cho chances. My man. Yeah. My yeah, girl. Like, my dude. My bee. Go watch Tiger King like the rest of us. I don't know what you want me to say. Like, <laughs> yeah. And the thing is, is we're if we were doing an activity, we were doing it with other people in like chat mm -hmm. and stuff like that. And you know, if we literally had our whole routine, we'd get up and we would check Animal Crossing and we'd work out with Sam and we'd, yeah, <laughs> and we'd we do whatever. Did. <laughs> and honestly, that kept us sane because like mm -hmm. that's routine. Like just mm -hmm. like just like normal every day now. Like now we're going back to a. Um, a, a balance of you know going out and like going back to how things were how things are right now it's a balance of um or rather i'm sorry a schedule a schedule and mm -hmm. a routine of things mm -hmm. even if you are indoors and you're trapped indoors you need to create yourself you know a schedule you need to create yourself some type of routine or mm -hmm. else you will go mad because you're just like, I don't know what to do. And just like, then figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, I would love to meet more people, but work drains me. And there's not many people I meet IRL that can re-energize re me. But many that I meet online can. I mean, that's fair. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Like for me, um, I don't know if IRL... IRL sometimes... Um, re-energizes me it really depends on the people that i'm around though if i'm around people who just like make me fucking exhausted to be around then like i'm gonna be exhausted like mm -hmm. people who are like hey i'm gonna jump and climb on this fucking chair and then i'm gonna climb on this wall and oh my god like, you can I can it's okay no. <laughs> and i'm just like holy shit. no there, there are people in our age group who are like that and it's just like chill oh. man chill what the fuck are you doing like can we just like relax Stuff. Can we just drink a coffee, dude? <laughs> I have a hard time talking to be to more than like three people at a time. IRL group meetings are anxious and nervous messes. I just hide away in my phone. Mm, I understand that like meetings are anxious and nervous messes, but uh, have I? Can I ask you how? Like, have you tried doing like one on one or adding another person or just like? attempting to um quell this feeling or have you just been like this is the way that i am and i'm going to keep doing this because like um, we do our irl D, &D and um brie was the one to reach out for that to be fair to him <laughs> oh good. um yeah, like we, like we don't have a lot of IRL friends. It like feels kind of embarrassing to say, but it's true. Like we don't, we just don't have a lot of IRL friends because most of our friends are you guys online, honestly. So um... no, don't even like. Okay, so <laughs> I don't, I don't mean to interrupt, but like KB and no, I were okay. talking, and I was like, uh, we were talking, and I was like, legitimately, if my landlord were to come here and be like, June, I want you out of the house by next week yeah i don't know if i would have enough friends to just suddenly move to them or like, like crash on their couch for yeah me. like i like obviously there's kb but i'm like what if you didn't exist what if you literally like what if we separated mm -hmm. you know god forbid right but mm -hmm. but let's say you didn't exist what other friends would I have around? <laughs> what other friends would I have around that, like, would I be able I to, I think like, I've been valid, to? although I think he's kind of far from you, isn't he? He isn't. He actually is pretty close, okay. but he is actually going to be moving soon. Um, oh, what? Yeah, what? he's moving, so, so like, <laughs> if he's moving soon, then who else? I don't fucking know. And you don't want to be in the middle of that while he's moving or whatever. Exactly, right. <laughs> and then, like... Yeah. On top of that, like, I, okay, so I don't know, um, if you guys are feel this way too, but I would feel so guilty going to my parents. I would I, hate that so much. I not that I would feel guilty, 
But just like fuck, I worked so hard to like not have to live with my mom or my parents. Oh but, my okay, God, first of all, yeah. I can't even live with my mom anymore. She li she lives in a residence, so I, c I can't live with her. Mm -hmm. Um, my dad um is it moving himself in August? So like, mm -hmm. like it'd be the same situation. So like, yeah, and even like our friends that we do play D and D with, like. I don't know why, but I didn't really tell them that I stream. I don't know why, but I just didn't. <laughs> and, oh, I don't tell um, anybody that I stream, except uh, I only told a mutual friend of ours. You know who? Yeah. And then also yeah. now my mother. She is literally the second <laughs> person that I told. Literally. Yeah, but like it's weird because like um, we have a Discord. It's it's our like local Discord. Yeah. And um, Cammy is in the my group. In, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And she streams mm -hmm. and whatever. But I don't know. I just didn't feel like advertising i just feel weird about it i don't know and then like even though we play D, &D every other week i still don't necessarily feel like i'm super close with them mm -hmm. and yeah and like they're the really the only people that we see <laughs> in town so like mm -hmm. yeah yeah like I, I wouldn't feel comfortable like knock on somebody's door and be like hey can i crash here please <laughs> like would you feel comfortable with that with Cammy? Because you know her a little bit better now. I might. Really I'm actually, yeah, I might, but I don't. I don't even know like where where she's at. <laughs> Honestly. Well, I know that she's oh. in Toronto, but that's about it. Like she, that's public knowledge. She, she, she is that mm. I am Toronto based, and I'm just like, mm. she's like, do you know how big Toronto is? And I'm like, <laughs> same. <laughs> do you know how big Chicago well, is? Or with that, with that logic, you can say like, Erie you know. too. I go to Erie's place. So I'm like, hey, girl. You know Erie's. <laughs> You could go to Erie's place, yeah, for sure. Yeah, though, I, I, I feel you. Like, I, I guess you'll have to hitchhike to Canada if that time ever comes. <laughs> well, I was telling, you know, I was telling KB, I'm like, well, he was like, why do you feel so un uncomfortable asking your parents? And I'm just like, I think it's because my parents for so long have been, like, always worried about me. You know, yeah. like, or or like you as a child, they're always like, "Oh my God, you're not doing this right," blah blah blah, and it's almost like I don't know if it's a sense of pride or just or feel like, like you failed having to go. I back feel like I something. failed. Yeah, I feel like yeah, I, I totally got that. I because, totally got that. Yeah, because I feel like oh now, now I have to come to you, and because I fucked up. I was yeah, like, I would feel like I had to start all over again. Like I had to build everything back up again. Like yeah, and it's just like, yeah. and then now I've cause them unnecessary anxiety because they're like damn I was right she can't handle herself she can't be yeah. a proper adult and I'm just like no fuck I've <laughs> like <laughs> yeah I don't know so uh, you can always crash at my place as long as you don't mind dogs I have a dog of my own but he doesn't like other dogs so we'll, we'll figure something out <laughs> uh, I am actually the co-signer in the house I live in with my mom helping her raise my little brother oh wow well very nice um, if I trust somebody, I would fight my mom to get her to help my friends, but I don't think it would come to that. Um, mm. <laughs> well, thank you. Thank you for the thank you for the offer, just in fucking case something like that happens. But you know, well, let's, yeah. Why are let's... we talking about this? True. Why are we even talking? <laughs> well, we're talking about no. how um, friendless we are. <laughs> 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 we're talking about fucking no. how much of uh, we're all losers. We are. Listen, we're not friendless. We just have friends far away. That's all mm. that means. Uh -huh. <laughs> in, order, another, in order to be helped we need to uh, take a whole plane ride <laughs> yeah basically I need to uh, go across to a different country <laughs> no big deal um, my mom is very accepting and nonchalant is all I'm saying oh well I that's very cool it's that's very nice cool. to have yeah. yeah that's very nice um, which is the reason why I was like very surprised that my mom was like why didn't you tell me I would have supported you. I'm so happy because she 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 finds it akin to um, YouTubers, I guess. She's like, you so so many YouTubers are literally millionaire billionaires. That could be you. I'm like, no, whoa, whoa, mom. Whoa, whoa. I'm like that can't be me because like they take that as like their job, right? I'm doing a nine to five and. This is not what I do as like. Like she's worried about not seeing you on the weekend. She never see you again again. If that. I know, right? <laughs> Goodbye. Yeah. <laughs> I actually did talk to her. I was like, um, 
I was like, well, I was thinking of doing some cooking streams. If you want to, maybe we can do a cooking stream together. So it'll be Ma yeah. Mama QB and uh, QB June doing some cooking some food together. That's that so cute. Fun. That's such a good yeah. idea. Yeah. And she's Aww. like, she's like, oh, I'm not, I'm not good in like front of a camera. I'm like, your face is not going to be in it. Your hands are going to be in it. Just, you know, you don't have to, you don't have to be super crazy about it. Like, yeah, it, you know, you can just like assist whenever things happen. It's the fact that like, I think everybody would be thrilled to be able to see you. Absolutely. Or your hands. And like, yeah. QB mama. Yeah. QB mama. Yeah. I think and, it's adorable and, uh, when streamers have like their parents on with them. So. Yeah, as I've seen other streamers like IRL streamers, like uh, flesh tubers, yeah, uh, who have had their parents on, and they do stuff with them. Like um, it reminds me of like when Valkyrie Valkyrie made um, Filipino food with her mom, and also um, uh, Bella Bella was there too, and it was so funny because Bella and her mom can speak um, Tagalog, but. Mm. Um, Ray can't. <laughs> so, <laughs> so they're like her her mom and Bella um, are like talking back and forth in, in, in Tagalog and she's just like just there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> her mom's like, why can you be like Bella? <laughs> wow. She's like, Damn. She's like Ugh. <laughs> in pain. But yeah, it's it's pretty funny. And maybe, maybe if you're, you're lucky, maybe you get to see my niece's like hands or something. Oh, yeah. She could like do a pat in the <laughs> in the dough or something. <laughs> yeah, she'll do a pat. That, oh my gosh, I downloaded a couple of videos or one video, uh, but my sister sent this to me um, because do you remember? Okay, so I had a bluey. My my sister had a bluey party, right? And. Um, she had a bluey party with a um, bunch of every, like, people, and she, I got, I didn't know what to get her. Uh, KB and I, we went to Walmart to go and grab her a gift. We didn't know what to get her, uh, but they had bluey plushies. They had bluey plushies. Ew. They had bluey and um, her brother, Bingo. And so she... Oops. Yeah, 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 I sent it. It's in it's in our it's on our Discord, by the way. Um mm -hmm. she sent my sister sent me um a thank you that my niece gave. Yeah, so thank you. Cute. I just went through. Ba 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 so cute. <laughs> She's like, thank you for the bluey and bingo. I also love her like taking inventory of everything. She like looks around just to make sure like her She's toys like, are all there. There's so, so many. She's so so cute. There's so many. <laughs> So yeah, she's very cute and she talks a lot. She's she, a good talker, I was gonna say. Like <laughs> she forms full fucking sentences. Dude. Yeah, how old is she? She's two. She is she just turned two. She's just a good talker. Wow, well, I don't I don't know what normal is. Like I don't know I, when fuck, kids I don't talk. know either. Like, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> and uh there's another video that I downloaded. Um I had my, my mom send it to me because it was so cute. It was she was in um she was in the bathroom and she managed to find she managed to find my my brother-in-law's um shoes and oh. she put them on and she was like she my my sister found her and she's like what are you doing? And he goes walking. And then she goes, "Whose shoes are those?" She goes that ass shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Duh. <laughs> it was so cute. I'll send you a picture That's of it cute. as well. Hold on. She's very cute. Yeah, so far she's adorable. No, no, no. You can't hear that, chat. You can't hear that. 
What the hell? That's illegal. <laughs> that allowed? Allowed? Yeah, I'm not. I'm not like a huge fan of kids, but my niece is damn she's cute. cute. She's an exception. She's cute. <laughs> and not only that, but she's really good. Like she doesn't really cry often. Yeah, she's well behaved. And, um, and my nephew as well. My nephew is very well behaved as well. My yeah. mom was like astounded. She's like, they're so good. And they're just cute <laughs> all the time. And apparently my dad loves them to fucking bits. Like he he doesn't even know how to express it, but you could tell by the actions because he saves every single video <laughs> in his phone that gets like shared by my sister. So he, cute. He he saves them and he watches them on his off time dedicated grandpa Aww. yeah he's just like he's just like i love these kids they're so, so cute, cute. <laughs> and should i be eating with you or being eaten well she's on the table so she's yes you know, we'll just say yes you know i had some jelly beans a bit ago while you were chatting i had some like easter a jelly jelly bean yeah what yeah. did it taste like easter <laughs> <laughs> like easter I don't know, oh. like fruit? I don't know, like jelly beans? Fruit. <laughs> what, Easter um, fruit? Uh, what? Eggs? Uh... Eggs? That sounds disgusting! <laughs> what the fuck? This goes deep. This has a grass, uh... <laughs> oh, I don't know. Uh. Um, okay, so let's start fucking doing Japanese oh my god what? 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 okay I have to put up busu which I've not so I did yet. end up finishing the chapter so Me too. Um, yeah so we're on um we're collectively on nine at this point right yeah so at this point we reviewed all the katakana and done the practice and all that good stuff so mm -hmm. yeah um let me get this on the other screen let me get you guys on the other screen. I'm moving you to my third right monitor. Um, <laughs> Is your blindfold on? <laughs> Not yet. Hey -o. You're gonna have to put it on me, chat. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> There's no redeem for that. Stop looking. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, let me check that. Speed running, <laughs> learning Japanese. That's what I did last last year, or no, a few years ago. Speed oh. ran Japanese. Uh, browser, browser, browser. Japanese any percent. <laughs> yeah, Japanese any percent speed run. Oh my god, <laughs> I'm looking at the the capture. It's like, uh, the Shumai. What does sh <laughs> what does Shumai look like? I'm like brother. <laughs> Don't forget to make sure the blindfold is very loose and cover your screens, but um, doesn't it doesn't matter. Just cover only two of them when you have three. It'd be funny if you had a blindfold like asset and then like still talk to chat. Like. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let me go ahead and also stream to you. Hell yeah. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. No, I don't want to stream VTube Studio. Yuck. Thank you. This one right here. Go live. And. Got it. Got it. Okay. Let me get you guys back My up. My things. Okay. And the other thing is, I want. I want this going away. Because I am no longer eating. Cool. Was streaming to someone in Discord? Discord was also a theory. Yeah, I also heard that too. I also How would that even work? Too. I don't get that. What would be the point of that? Um, like somebody else is playing the game in Discord oh. and you're streaming them playing, not you oh. playing, and you're just oh. sitting there. That's fucked up. <laughs> you're sitting there, not actually doing something. 
Or like pretending to click things. And... Eating speedrun? I would have fucking failed that so hard. Because I still have food. <laughs> <laughs> Two and a half hours later, I still have food. Hmm. Okay. Here's my notebook. I had to move things over. Eh. Mm -hmm. And I have my water. <sighs> Screen screen to someone in Discord and they'll give you directions, tell you what to do. Yeah, I've heard that as well. That's interesting. Though I feel like, um, so Zeno was actually saying if I were in that position, I would feel like I, it would fuck up my speed run even more because then I would be focusing on what the other person said and then I would like not follow what they were saying. Like I would say do it late essentially. Mm. So I don't know. Or there'd be a delay. Mm hmm. There could be a delay as well. Okay. So let me. I'm going to make a new notebook for chapter nine. Yeah. Chapter. Nine. Oh. Is there a line in medium? Um, hold on. Cancel. Uh, can I? Um. Let me delete this really quick because it is not giving me the right lines. There we go. I want the large lines so I can draw all my characters in big ol' fucking script. Okay, so part one for chapter nine, so nine part one, um, saying everyday objects. Let's go. Every everyday everyday objects. <laughs> everyday. <laughs> Everyday objects. Okay. Um, as bad as reading chat off of your secret third monitor accidentally, delay would be be too bad no matter what. I know, right? It'd be just be mm -hmm. too bad. Be awful. Mm. I mean, to me, I was just like, "What stops her from like?" What stops her from like putting? Hmm, I was gonna say putting on a video, but then I realized then like the little um. You uh, can see key, like the play bar key logging. Like yeah, they mm. show you like what buttons you're pressing, and if your buttons aren't matching with what's on the video, then it would be fucked up, right? So that's fine. Anyway, it's my bag. So watashi no kaban this. So let's um, let's do some phrasing. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm gonna put in the uh, okay. I'm putting in the hiragana one. Watashi no kaban. That kind of kind of for kaban is crazy too. <laughs> um, I know, right? <laughs> On this. <clears throat> okay, and then I'm writing the kanji for this as well. So. Uh, this actually looks like the katakana mu. Is it mu? Yeah. Doesn't it? The other part of watashi? Mm. Yeah. Yeah. What the fuck do you want me to draw? What the hell? Oh, <laughs> come um, on. You aren't streaming to them. You aren't streaming to, uh, oh. to Twitch. Sorry. Yeah. Here you go. Thank you, Ducky. <laughs> Thank you, Ducky. Here you go. My bad. We were doing it blindfolded. Sorry. <laughs> no, you were. You guys were doing a blindfolded. Yeah. <laughs> Except it actually uh, worked I, because you couldn't see anything. <laughs> I was doing it blindfold 100%. I could read it actually. Like. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that fucked up katakana. 
<laughs> wow, look at that fucked up katakana. That's crazy. That bag is actually cute, though. Just saying. It's got bananas all over it. It, it is. It is quite cute. Bananas. I, I am a banana lover myself. <laughs> banana. Um, oh my god. What do you want from me? My second son, too? Jesus. <laughs> well, where's your first one? Taken by the other one. By, by by Katakana. Katakana took my first I'm, I'm just gonna write the hiragana. That's too crazy. <laughs> I can't even, like, dissect what it would... It's, it's hard to make out, yeah. Fuck. Fuck you. <laughs> That's it. I'm done. <laughs> I'm, I'm writing the, uh, Dermaji. So, Atashi, no. Uh, Kaban. I think bag in Korean is also kaban. So. Uh, I think you are or correct. Earth. I know that because of um, no by CLC. <laughs> uh, you know, they never. And they said that K pop no did. Kaban desu. No kaban desu. What's this? Uh. Uh, this is Nihon? <laughs> this is this, my Japan. This is my Japan. <laughs> God, that's like a political fucking... Yeah, for sure. <laughs> um, when we say kapan, the stress goes on with the... Ba. The wa? Wait. The stress. Kaban. Because you're doing the ba. Oh, oh, okay, okay. They're saying yeah. enunciation is there. I see, Anderson. <clears throat> Don't worry about the kanji too much of 90%. Can't even. <laughs> there are, there are um, specific ones that are important, though. I do know. That are very yeah. common. Uh, it's a Japanese book. Okay. So we'll do uh, Nihongo no. Is on the word for book? Nihongo no hon desu. I guess Hon. so, yeah. Hon okay. is. I have never heard that before. Yeah. Nihongo. Or I, prob I probably haven't didn't know that's what it meant. <laughs> yeah, this is the first time we've seen it, so. Okay, so let me write this in Romaji. Uh, Nihongo no Hon this. And then... A um, Japanese book, but not my Japanese book. Yes. I wonder if you switch them, then they become the opposite. So... Hon no Nihongo? No. No, that'd be Japan's book, right? Mm -mm. Japan's book as opposed to a Japanese book. We'll see. This is just mm. an English an English book. My yeah. English book, yeah. Or it's an English book, I should say. Uh, yes. Mm. Yes. Kanji is so difficult that Japan literally has tiers of tests to prove how much kanji you know. I yeah. I am very aware of that. Like spelling bees, but not. <laughs> I guess so. Um. Okay. Yeah, we have um we have two uh two Kasa. two chatters here who um literally like lived in Japan for quite a bit and they studied Japanese uh quite in intensively. So they're like very familiar with those tests. <laughs> uh they help us uh, occasionally if we need them. Um but yeah. Kasa, okay. Kasa. 
The kanji looks like a little umbrella almost. <laughs> almost. I can at least write this one, I think. It kind of looks like two people. Just like two people chilling. It looks like a Rorschach test a little bit. <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> um... Kind of looks like a tree with some. Or, I mean, a house with some trees in it, but. What do I know? <laughs> I'm just a bee. <laughs> I'm just a bee. <laughs> okay, ready? Yeah. Talking about umbrella. Yes. You said Kawaii it's cute. Kasa. Yeah, it's a cute, it's a cute umbrella. It is cute. <laughs> Yeah. Zashi. Zashi. Okay. Actually, this is similar too. Um, in Korean, <clears throat> it's the same word. Zashi. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh cool. Uh, she. I am not writing that in kanji. You better get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Zashi. The double S, cause there's the little U there. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm It's a French uh, magazine. Zashi mm -hmm. Zashi yes. yes. <laughs> Umbrella, please, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, hey, so it said noun. Noun plus could decide to ask for something. Oh, let's put that I'm down. write that down, yeah. Um, noun plus to ask for something. Noun plus <coughs> could decide. So. Noun. Uh, I almost forgot what ku was in, in Hiragana for a second. Then ta, da, uh, sa, i. Who um, I know? I'm trying to remember what. There it is, okay. I was trying to remember. Da. You can almost order food then. And say. Blink Kudasai. <laughs> okay, we're on to chapter two then. Boop, boop. So Look fast. <clears throat> okay, so part two is. Part two, part two, part two. Talking about objects nearby. Use the word this. Okay, so we're gonna learn this here. This is my Let's say. Is yours? Okay, so you say what is this? Um, uh, and then you say item. Mm -hmm. Oh, I need to move this actually. Jeez. Oh, jeez. 
What is? What is? Item. This. Um. Okay, sorry, I'm taking so long. Take your tongue. Just being being um thorough. Absolutely. I don't recognize this Pokemon song. It's a good one though. It's very gentle. Tashi. No. An item. It says to be one of the snow places. Hmm. Oh, yeah, maybe. Next. This is a French um, Zashi, so um, this is a French magazine. Yes. Um, yes. Kore means this. Kore wa desu ka? Okay, so oh. asking a question. Someone's in the desk to make it a question. Hello, cards. What? <laughs> oh. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Is that a copy pasta? <laughs> okay. <laughs> anyway, I'm, like, this staring at it. I'm like, what? <laughs> okay, you can ask, um... <laughs> So what's important for this is you're asking what something is um, in close proximity. Hmm. Because um, very well, it's okay, Deska. Because I know that they have different words for um, closeness. Hmm. Um. Like you just picked it up and asked what it was. Yeah. So it's just, it's close to you, or you can point it if like he turned around and pointed at the chat chair. He'd be like, oh, kore wa, you know, uh, to toke? You know, mm. kore wa toke desu ka? And then people would be like, yeah, <laughs> no. <laughs> chair desu. <laughs> chair desu. <laughs> you make them sound like a real dumbass in this module, dude. Is that a chair? Bye. So. Kore. The fuck did I just come into? <laughs> what else? We're learning Japanese. Yeah. Welcome. There's two girls learning Japanese together. <laughs> yeah, just two girls learning Japanese. Is there a problem? <laughs> Is there a problem? Can I have a, a shout out to Demo when you have a chance? Absolutely. Too late. Too late. Haha. <laughs> I did it. Too late. <laughs> ah! <Yeah. laughs> Got him. Got him. Uh, cool. Cool. Core. Oh my god, that is the worst 
squiggly I've ever made. Um, blank. This. Go. Okay. I came to hit say hi. Well, welcome, welcome. Thank you for saying hello. Hello. Yeah, we're learning some Japanese at the end of the stream, which we're in. Now I'm going to go do my BS. Go do your BS, Demo. Go do your BS. Thank you for stopping Have by. Have fun with your you. bullshit. <laughs> yes, I appreciate you for stopping by. I'll talk to you later, okay? Bye, 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 bye. Enjoy the bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> Kore wa bullshit desu. Yeah, Kore wa bullshit desu ka? Kore wa watashi no tokei desu. Oh, okay, so clock and watch are different. You know what's really cute? Okay, I know we're just talking about my niece, but mm -hmm. um, she... Okay, so... Um, she's so cute. She learned so quickly. So she... she it's, it's relevant to this. She was sitting next to my dad, and my dad... Do you remember when I was telling you that my dad always wears this watch that I got him many years ago? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so he's wearing the watch and um, my niece points to the watch and says, clock! <laughs> and uh, and then my mom uh, looked at her and said, no, not clock, watch. And then she mm -hmm. thinks for a second and she says, watch. And then she stops, and then she's like, okay. And so, like, 30 minutes pass, and they're about to, to, to like, leave uh, to go to the restaurant. Um, and my dad is next to her in the seat, next to her, and she points at his watch again, and this time she says, watch! <laughs> Cute. And so she like remembered. She remembered. She's like, He's so smart. Like, I know. She's so smart. She's crazy. She's crazy. She's cracked. <laughs> <laughs> She's cracked. She, she needs also, W. Yeah, she she plays this she plays this like um <laughs> she plays this uh this mo like my sister has this mobile kids game where like they can pop bubbles and stuff. Or not sorry, balloons as they're passing by. So oh, yeah. they're like, passing by in the air, and you're supposed to tap it like as a as a kid, you know. Mm -hmm. And I saw her playing, and I was like, "Go, go! You have to tap it. You go, go, go faster, faster!" She's like, eh, eh, eh. and I turn to KB and I go, "She's already on aim labs." <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> already on aim labs. She's gonna be cracked when she gets older. <laughs> baby E gamer, baby E sports gamer. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Valorant agent, do you think she's gonna play? <laughs> she's gonna take over the the streaming business, the family she's, streaming business. She's, she's clicking heads already. She's clicking heads. <laughs> that's funny. But anyway, yeah. So that story just reminded me the clock. So toke. So uh, it's interesting that toke refers to both a watch and a clock, regardless. So they don't have separate um, names for it. It looks like. Hmm. Yeah, I feel like that would get confusing, though, in some instances. Maybe not. Maybe. I don't know. Things that, like, that's the thing with Japanese is everything's so contextual. So it yeah. just really depends on, like, what you're doing, where you are, and stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, should I... What? No, we know this one. Um, kore wa uh, watashi no uh, toke, toke desu. So this is... The other one is kaban. Kuruma. Karuma. This one's new. Okay, new word. Um, ku... Is that a Japanese car, Wump, if you're still in chat? <laughs> yeah, is this a Japanese car? <laughs> I don't think it is, right? It's a Volkswagen? Is this a Volkswagen? I can't tell. <laughs> That's the V, right? The V is a Volkswagen? I don't know. No, it doesn't look like that, I don't think. I don't know. I, uh, I'm, I'm just gonna wait for the the car expert to come out. <laughs> I'll wait. Lump get out of here, get, or get in here, I should say. <laughs> Not out in. Kuruma is car. Okay. I'm gonna give you two seconds. 
one, one and a half. One and three quarters. <laughs> one three quarters. Two. Sorry, Womp. We'll have I to guess we'll never, know. we'll never know. We'll never we'll know. We'll never know about this car. <laughs> this car will be a Japanese car forever, even though it may not actually be. Yes, she is. Jitensha. Oh, I know this one. That's interesting. Jitensha. Jitensha. Yeah. Spelled like that? Oh, it's not. Okay. I thought it was a small. Yeah. It's not. Mm. Jitensha. Jitensha. Bicycle. Fun fact, English has a lot of silent letters and words, but as far as I know, there's only one type of instance in Japanese language with a silent letter. Subasa wo... Uh, subasa o kudasai. Yeah, it's the o is silent sometimes when you're talking about items. Bicycle. Yes, yes. It also sound looks like wool, but it's said as all. Korewa America no jitensha desu ka? America no jitensha. So this is is this some an American bicycle? Question mark. Yes. Okay. Kuruma Jitensha Toke Kuruma Jitensha. Okay. Easy. Cool. Sorry, just a fun fact about a, about Oh no 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 Kiar. I, I I appreciate you um uh participating. Cause like we we checked on that later, but honestly, like if you're a student it's always just nice to have a refresher on certain things. We, we appreciate feedback yeah. from people that actually know the language, so. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Especially as novices and stuff. And um, we talked about that, what, two on the second stream, maybe, for JP? So we might have forgotten. 100%. Here it is. There it is. Remember I was like, kore or like, uh, uh, yeah. kore, sore, or are. Um, it's different in Korean. Um, it's like I don't remember. Like, it's been so long. It's been so long. Oh, sorry, I forgot to. I'll 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 just name it part three, but I don't know what it's called. Okay, so sore. Close to listener. Sore. Oops. Want it that okay? So, like, let's say, for example, you're I don't know, standing near a river, and then I'm standing on the path next to the river, and I point at it and I go, Sore, I guess, Sore wa non, I don't know. It would be the same. Would it be the same? It would be, um, what is it? I'm not sure. I don't know if they have a different mechanism for like places, because these are like, just objects, right? So like, I I don't know what like th that like thing is. Like, say, what is that thing? Mm. Right? If I were to be like, what is that thing? I would not know how to say it. For reference, I don't actually know language. I have only taken two beginner classes in the language. I just simply love Japanese culture. Hope to fully learn Japanese one day. Yeah, we hope to learn as well. That's we why we're here. <laughs> yeah, for sure. And we appreciate like if you know any tips or anything that you want to share, feel free to. Um, we we, you know, we welcome all the tips and and stuff like that. So, okay, so sore is. That closer to listener, okay. Sore wa zashi desu. 
Yes. So she's talking about the magazine. Yeah. And she said so Yeah. So that. So that. I would say, yeah, she's talking about a bag that is near me, regardless yeah. of anything, just because she said so that. So even if she's close. Bag. Italian bag. <laughs> Italia. No, kaban. <laughs> Fascinating. Fascinating. Amazing. <laughs> okay, so Sore is close to the speaker. No, far from the speaker and close to the listener. <laughs> no, no, no. Close to the speaker and far from the listener? That's... No, it's this. It's number four. Close, mm -hmm. far from the speaker and close to the listener. And Kore is close to the speaker and far from the listener. I didn't know that it, they ha it had to be far from the listener. I thought close to the speaker is just like, if it's right next to both of you guys. If that's Me right. too. So one's close to the speaker and one's close to listener. listener. Yeah. So closest listener is Sore and mm -hmm. closest speaker is Kore. So if you okay. have it in your hand. For example. Okay. Though I suppose, like, even if you were a few feet away from your friend and you were to show them an apple in your hand, it would still be kore because even if they're close, it's still closer to you, right? Because it's yeah. literally in your hand. Are. 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 Okay. Okay. Oh my gosh, I haven't drawn are in so long. Okay, there we go. I almost forgot how to do it. <laughs> uh, are. So that, which is far from both speaker and listener. Okay. Be good for your river example. For example. Wait, can you repeat that? That's a German Oh, oh, that over there, like that over he, there is. A he's asking about a German Korean. car. I'm not Korean. I meant German. I I don't know why Korean came out of my mouth. But, <laughs> um, yeah, that I think he's making a statement because cause not at the end. So right. I think he's saying that over there is a German car. Ku kuruma, yeah. Uh, are. Yeah, that over there is a German car, yeah. Sorry. Oh, did you want me to stop it? Sorry. It's alright, you already moved on. Did I can I can um tell you what it said. And I was trying to write out the um here we go now. Sorry, for Ade? For for Ade or for the whole sentence. sentence for the that is a German oh. car. Oh, there, we the can whole... break it up I'll break it down. We can go mm -hmm. uh, that is a German car. So if we were to do that, it would be Are. Uh, are wa, right? Uh, the first thing that comes out is Deutsche, right? So. Deutsche. Uh, Deutsche. No. Ku. Kuru. Kuruma. Um. Kuruma deska. No, des. It's just des because if it's deska, you'd be asking. Mm -hmm. So I think that's correct. Did you need me to go over it with you? Uh, I'm just trying to find it in my book. How to write doitsu? Like I oh, can just a, write it out. It's like a do. stick. It's like a stick. Like the the light switch one, yeah, with with two dashes because it's do. Oh yeah, do. and do. then e, so it's uh the the t that's kind of slanted a little bit. That's i. Yeah, and then su do. is just um uh like <laughs> it's like a backward c. It's a backward c. That's su. Mm -hmm. And then um no, so no. Yep. Okay. And then kuruma. Kuruma. Okay, goody. Don't 
it's uh, uh, <clears throat> uh, nah. okay. okay I'm good okay so then there's this that over there that over there so this is um kore right kore then that is sore so near uh near to the listener and then are is far from both mm -hmm. okay that's good did you want to write anything here nope i'm good okay um select the word to describe an object far from both the speaker and the listener all right これは傘です。へえ、それは日本の傘ですか。はい、そうです。それは時計ですか。はい、これは私の時計です。あれは本ですか。いいえ、あれは雑誌です。そうですか。were you able to understand it? Yes. Yeah. Nice. We're yeah. listening. We're getting the, 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 the word reading comprehend or listening comprehension. Okay, so it's far from both. Yeah. Wait. What? No, no, it's, it's a magazine. It's a magazine. Zashi. Oh, I'm sorry. Arewa I, was just I was listening to the far and stuff. No, um, I hear you. I hear it you. It is far from both, but you're right. <laughs> it was totally a magazine. Yeah, you're right. Arewa zashi desu. Uh, it's false. This is the only thing we you got You trickster! Wrong. Yeah, how dare you? <laughs> also, I've heard desu is only used when answering questions in normal speech. Um, I know that desu is just polite in general, which is weird sometimes from foreigners because they're just constantly polite. <laughs> yeah. Instead of being like comfortable with the language, it's like I'd be mortified to... to be impolite when I'm visiting somewhere. So <laughs> yeah, I would rather just be polite. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, let me uh, write this down for the parts. So, um... do you want to stop here or do you want to keep going? Oh, well, I think I have like one more in me. No worries. Let's do what that. about you? How do you feel? Um, I can do one more, sure. Okay. These are fairly easy because they're at the beginning of the chapter, so... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Okay, so this is part four. Part four. Asking about objects. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Okay. これは何ですか? Nice. There, okay. Oh, you're asking about that. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I didn't say it right because I was gonna say none because it's what, right? But I was like, mm, maybe not. これは none. Um, well, you have normal speech, polite speech, and formal speech. The fact about Desu is just in case you get in friendly terms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, it, it, it's so interesting because, um, yeah, Korean also has the same thing where they have like polite speech and polite speech and stuff. Mm -hmm. Um, so, so interesting. So this is what is this? Okay. Sorewa Nandeska. Sorewa Nandeska. What is that? Yeah, what is that? Closer to us. Mm -hmm. The woman is asking what the object near her is. So, Kore. So, yeah, this is, she's holding it. This is, should be true, right? Very mm -hmm. really nice. What would you say to find out what your friend has in her name? 
in her hands. So it would be if your friend has it in her hands, it'd be sore, mm -hmm. right? Sore mm -hmm. wa nan desu ka? No, it's not. Oh, I'm sorry. I I didn't see the first one. Sorry. I am poopy. <laughs> Sumimasen. Are wa nan desu ka? Uh, I'm sorry, but what is that? <laughs> yeah, sorry. What the fuck is that? <laughs> um, it's like the sentence when asking about something far away. Um, okay. uh, from both of us, I'm guessing. So it wouldn't be quote right here. So it has to be things here. These two. And since it's a question, it's a ka. Mm -hmm. I find many people don't understand when to use each form of speech, but there's a YouTuber that I find displays the difference perfectly. That reminds me, there is a YouTuber, I think his name is Soji? No. Uh, he's like a, a Japanese VTuber. Not really, but like he's Japanese, but he speaks in English a lot. I, I just don't remember his name right now. I, I, I used to watch him quite a bit though. Mm -hmm. he, he explained um, a lot of things, including, like, number one, obviously, when to use certain languages, but also, like, um, like certain mannerisms and cultures and or culture and how we're, we are where we are, or Japan is, is where they are because of those cultures and stuff. Yeah. But, Nice. Match the question with their answers. So this is Um This says Sore Kasa this. Oh, so this is answering. So this is like, what is this in my hand? And the person is saying you who have that in your hand it's an umbrella mm -hmm. okay and what's it say kore wa hon um hon desu ka so is is that a book is that a book uh, or is this a book is this a book so they're saying hi yes so yes um, so this. yes that's right so this yes that's correct Oh, think of a British YouTuber that consciously displays the difference between three forms of speech and mannerism. The only British, there's a lot of British um, YouTubers who are based in Japan, like Chris and um, Connor, and um, and the entirety of Trash Taste. <laughs> Even though not all of them are English, some of them are Australian, but. Um, Still, it, they they come with like a foreign mindset about it, I suppose. So they are none this ka? So they are none this ka? Easy. So they are none this ka? What do you say to find out what your friend has in her hands? Um. Oh, this is what I I missed earlier. Yeah. Good yes. job. I found the question particle. <laughs> the question marking particle. I did it. <laughs> yeah. Easy, 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 easy. That was interesting. That was really fun. Yeah, that one was pretty easy. Mm -hmm. I enjoyed that one. I didn't even have to write that much because it was more like um, almost like a review of what we were doing earlier. So. Yeah. Anyway. Anyway, okay. So no more Japanese guys. No more Japanese. We're gonna end stream uh, soon, or if not now, considering it's kind of late. Um, yeah. Do you? How far do we want to get to for next time? I was thinking of Connor specifically he had a Japanese video praising his use of. Oh yeah, yeah, Connor. I remember Connor. Um. Uh. Uh, doing that as well. I remember he was in Japan with a bunch of other streamers and um, he his Japanese is really really good and they the other streamers were like astounded. They were so, so surprised. They're like Connor can speak Japanese? Like my dude yes. <laughs> it's been known. It's been known. But 
How far do we want to get? Do we want to finish up chapter 9? Because it doesn't seem like there's much. Do you want to get into maybe like chapter... Like 10-2 10, so? 10 2 10 3 Yeah, that sounds perfect. So, however we feel. Yeah. So um, I'll just mark this as homework. Because there's only like two more chapters chapters for chapter 9 or two more parts for chapter 9 so yeah. it's just like I don't want to finish chapter 9 and be like well gotta wait until next week <laughs> we're making really good yeah, progress yeah. Though. Um, yeah we are making good progress we're getting through um, I mean a Japanese YouTuber made a video of praising Hunter Swiss oh okay 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 I understand no I haven't seen that before that's awesome though that's really cool that Connor is being even praised by um, a native person who is like, wow, look at this foreigner. <laughs> <laughs> but that's awesome. That's good. That's good. I mean, you would think he's been there for a bit. I'm sh uh, well, I say a bit, but I mean, he's been around. He's been doing trash chase for a while. So, um, but okay. So I'm going to end up stream uh, end stream here. Um, first off, thank you, Shami, for joining me, as usual, in some Japanese lessons, and also chatting. Uh, yeah, anytime. As usual as well. How are you feeling, by the way? Um, just in general, like, kind of tired. <laughs> kind of tired? Do you have enough room for, um, a single episode of Dungeon Meshi? Yeah, I think so. Nice. Okay, yeah. let me... <laughs> Oh my god. Do you guys want to just like chill the fuck out? Um, Connor, so the last of the three, I would expect the praise towards. Well, yeah. <laughs> I mean, the thing is, is that at this point, like, both, uh, both Joey and, uh, Garnt are like integrated. They're, it's over for them. They basically are Japanese. It, it was over for them when I, I found out that Joey was teaching Japanese people about kanji like that was <laughs> that it, then I knew it was fucking over okay <laughs> when I heard that I was like wow I cannot believe that Joey is teaching Japanese people to be Japanese that's crazy <laughs> that's wild that's some white people audacity <laughs> yeah but he was like he was talking about like oh did you know this kanji means this and they're like wow really and they're like yeah and you could write it like this and he's like whoa <laughs> I actually feel like Connor is more integrated than Garnt to be honest I also kind of feel the same way uh, Garnt also kind of goes back and forth a lot too from what I know uh, Connor is a little bit more mainstay like in Japan as well Valor how are you how are you Valor I'm right about to end actually um I've been streaming for three three hours I know rookie numbers today but <laughs> it's okay Hi, Valor. I, I started a little bit late too so yeah yeah Hey, you, uh, you know, a uh, friendly face, a uh, familiar one, I mean, a familiar bunny <laughs> face here as well. Um, we're both <laughs> learning some Japanese today, so. Or yeah. we learned some Japanese, I should say. Learned. We learned. Learned. Uh, we also talked about a few um, interesting controversies today, too, so. It was fun. It was fun. We got it all. We got it all. <laughs> yeah. We're also probably going to hop into, um, uh, we're going to hop into... A Discord chat just to watch some Dungeon Meshi if you want to join us. Mm -hmm. We're totally down if you want to join uh, us watching some Dungeon Meshi. Uh, we're probably going to do one question mark episode. Um, mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, you're free to join us. I'm just going to chill and wash up and then lay in bed and watch Dungeon Meshi with you guys because that sounds like a great idea. Oh my gosh, I miss my bed. It's so bad right now. Oh my gosh, I'm so tired. Yeah, I feel that. <sighs> um, so I'm gonna send us over to the wonderful, the excellent, uh, Jake himself. Uh, he is so funny. Um, Jake is playing American Truck Simulator. Oh and, hell yeah! And I can't, I can't ignore that. Okay. <laughs> hell yeah, brother. <laughs> Yeah, oh my gosh. What what should we do? What uh, 10 4 what buzzing buzzing in 10 4 something. 
got a, gr a great big convoy rocking through the night. I was thinking of... I wasn't sure if this worked or I should do... <laughs> no! Anoku! Oh, Anoku! Hello! Anoku! Uh, Anoku! I, thank you! Thank you for... Thank you for the raid! Thank you, thank you! Bees in transit? Yes! Anoku raid! Oh my gosh! Welcome and raiders! Jellico welcome. and Smash Rocks! Hello! Yeah, Jellico and Smash Rocks! Welcome, welcome, welcome! <laughs> Um, I am Kiwi Jun. If you are unfamiliar with who I am, uh, I am a Queen Bee VTuber and I play a lot of different variety games as well as the different activities. So uh, today I actually uh, actually learned some Japanese with my my good friend here. Her name is Shami. Uh, Shami Bun herself. <laughs> you wanna you wanna introduce yourself? Hi guys, I'm Shami. I'm June's lovely co-host for this evening. Um, I, on my own channel, play some cozy games, although sometimes not so cozy because I'm doing some uh, spooky games as well. Say one Japanese thing. Um, <laughs> Nihongo Jozu Desu. Oh my god, you choose that? That's fun. That's kaban. 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 Watashi no Kaban. Watashi no Kaban. <laughs> What's oh uh, Toki? I think it's Toki. I don't remember. Um, yeah, I think Toki is rabbit, right? No, it's it's Usagi. Usagi's Usagi. Usagi is bunny. Oh, that's right. That's right. Bunny, yeah. Why did yeah. I think Toki was was an animal? I think it is something. I think Unagi is different. That's a mushroom. <laughs> no, Unagi is an eel. <laughs> <laughs> What's what am I thinking then? It's uh, <laughs> a mushroom. <laughs> unagi is delicious. <laughs> now I'm embarrassed. Now everybody, I'm embarrassed. everybody is just fucking up everything. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like Toki is Japan, or it's it's rabbit, right? You're like no unagi, and then you're like un unagi is a mushroom, and I'm like unagi is a fucking eel. <laughs> God. Oh, Toki is bird. Toki is bird. Toki is bird. Okay, yeah. I knew it was an animal, but I don't remember which one. I don't know why. But... Serena, that means rabbit. <laughs> um, but yes, unfortunately, I'm going to be ending soon. Um, thank you for... First off, thank you for the raid. I hope that your, uh, your stream went really well today. Let me... Did you buy any chance? Okay, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. No go saints. Oh my gosh. I'm typing it caps. I love that. I get it, Smash Rocks. I get it. The du it's, a, it's, a, it's a dub joke. I get it. I get it. <laughs> Y'all look cozy as hell. Yeah, you were playing some Genshin today. Oh my gosh. I have not. Yeah, I haven't played Genshin in a bit, but I have played HSR recently. Um. It's hard for me to get back into Genshin because I feel like I fall uh, I fell behind. Uh, I fell behind during the Inazuma arc um, afterwards, like post Inazuma, and then I was just like, "Ugh, I really can't." And I I missed out on the entirety of um, uh, Sumeru and and stuff like that from there. So whoa. that was me after Sumeru. I did Sumeru, but then like I haven't done anything since. So praise Kink. Petra, you are the most beautiful woman that I have ever seen in my goddamn life. And, oh. and I would let you step on me if you want to. Oh. Only if you want to, though. Consensual. Seeing that in some great characters. Yeah, I've I've seen them. I have I've definitely seen them. I have definitely seen them. Yeah, I've seen um, <laughs> Eerie's husband. I'll hate them. <laughs> <laughs> and I know some I, I know Fontaine has really cool characters. Um, I think Nazu said there is definitely a character that reminded him of me. Mm. Um she, her starts with an N. She has the, that umbrella and she has a bunch of cannons. <laughs> oh, it's yeah, it's like 
Narina or something. I was gonna say Neolu, but I don't think that. Nav Navia. Navia. 100%. Yeah, again, neither one of us were right. You know again. what? 100%. <laughs> yeah, you, yeah, you know, I, that was on the tip of my tongue. So close, so close. <laughs> Oh, Ayo, yeah, Ayo. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're about to raid out. I'm so sorry that that you guys just got here, but I appreciate you sticking around and saying hello. Um, um, Anoku, if you need to go grab something to eat or grab something to drink, um, get some rest and stuff. Um, you did a great job for streaming today. I hope. Um, that you stream again soon. And uh, yeah, I hope uh, everybody had a great time over at your stream too. Navi, as usual, a uh, visual appearance says that she'll be the type to go, oh ho ho ho. Really? I thought she was the type of to go just explode everything. <laughs> <laughs> Her personality seems very interesting. Um, but yes, uh, we're about to read out to, same to you, take care of yourself. Of course, thank you, thank you. Yes, thank you for trusting me with your community. I appreciate you. Um, yep, so we're going to go ahead and raid out to my good friend Jake. Um, I have never raided out to him before because he is a daytime streamer. <laughs> so I'm <laughs> so excited to raid out to him for the first time. Um, oh, what should we do? Um, we're, we're on the road. Uh I'm trying to think of something clever. Unfortunately, I'm not clever right now. <laughs> Buzzing on, buzzin on in the radio or something. Buzzing in on the radio. The convoy song would work. The convoy song. I'm trying to think of like uh, uh <sighs> <laughs> I don't know if that'll work. I don't think that it's gonna work. Will you even understand? No. Beether. Uh, thanks. I guess. Brother, <laughs> thanks for the raid. We're uh, we're hitting the road to Jake's ass. Oh my god. <laughs> You got an original raid message? What is it? What about these nuts? Oh, that's a good one, Salary. That's wow. Really? You thought that of yourself? So that's so original. That's crazy. <laughs> um I can't How believe you Big thought Dog. That. <laughs> yeah, have you thought about the name Big Dog for yourself? Big dog, you big dog, that? big dog, over and over and over again. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Um can you imagine the people that have the TTS? Big dog. Big dog. Big dog. <laughs> big dog is the nice spring. Wait, wait, I have a good one. Oh, dude, he's gonna log out by the time you come up with this message. <laughs> Brother, we're cranking our hog. Oh my god! For you! No! <laughs> <laughs> All right, here is your raid message. If you are not subscribed to me, you should have these as a follower. Oh my god, that not that many. Oh not that many. Not that many. Here's here's it if if you're a sub, I think you need a sub to use this. It's huge. It's so big. <laughs> There you go. Bye. <laughs> God. <laughs> it's so big. It's, it's so many. <laughs> That's why these. So many. So many. <laughs> so many. Thank you, Auntie June. They're so, so for cute. the bluey and bingo. So cute. So many. <laughs> All right, you guys ready to raid? Get ready to raid. Thank you guys. Thank you guys so much for um, being here tonight. Um, next time I will be streaming will be tomorrow at 7... 7.30? No, 7 o'clock. I'll be doing 7 o'clock. Regular time. 7 o'clock um, p.m. CST. I'll be doing Amori and probably 
talking to chat as usual in the beginning so <laughs> <laughs> i will see you then thank you guys and thank you shammy for being here with me of course bye chat bye 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 bees. <laughs> <laughs>